Hey guys, welcome to the stream. <laughs> welcome. Also, it's not my birthday. <laughs> oh my god, every Saturday is worth Preeti's birthday. She's 94 now. Thank you so much. Oh uh, yay, Mitch Higa is in chat too. Slay. <laughs> Slay, I know you'd love doing that so much, Mitch. Uh, welcome guys. I've been jamming out to this song like uh, while well, I've been setting this up. I like how like groovy it is. Also, Peanut's in the background. Oh wait, it's this way. Peanut, say hi! <laughs> Which up, Peanut? Say hi, Peanut! Oh wait, you're on this side. <laughs> I get confused looking at the camera. Which up, Peanut? He don't want to say hi. <laughs> oh god, thank you guys. Wow. <laughs> I love always like seeing people in chat to her are new too and they're like, wait, it's Weeby's birthday? I'm like, no, it's it's not. It's, it's not my birthday. <laughs> every every day that's not my birthday is my birthday. That's the the meme for the stream. <laughs> but uh yeah, welcome guys. Um yeah, we're gonna start this game. Um, just kind of a disclaimer on this one too. I think most people kind of already know this, but this one was unfortunately canceled. So uh, there's only two chapters we're gonna be able to play through, but I've heard a lot of good things about the two chapters that are available to play through. I actually think I heard somebody say that, um, cause this fan game is pretty old too. So like, uh, I think it might actually be one of the ones that inspired, um, that inspired like uh, Danganronpa and other like inspired Lanouche to make that series. So I was like, I still feel like, I, I was like, I still want to play it. I feel like, I don't know. It's like the creators, although they didn't finish it, of course, it's like they still put a lot of effort, I'm sure, into like, you know, the chapters that were made. So it's like, I still want to try it out. I think I've heard, I don't know, I feel like I've heard that like the executions for these are pretty good. So uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, and shout out to Zephy for translating the prologue in both chapters, and they're also playable too, so it's uh, kind of like Danganronpa and other in that way too. I think it's, um, whatchamacallit, um, made in like RPG Maker like Danganronpa and other as well, but yeah. <laughs> Dang, I wanted to be first to say happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you, NR China 20 Rose. What a beautiful birthday. <laughs> what a beautiful day to celebrate my birthday and in Pride Month, no less. Thank you, Noah Del Luca, for the dollar donation. Appreciate ya. But yeah, I guess we can go ahead and uh, get started. Where'd it get up to two? Um, it got up to like the very end of it, so it's like two full uh, chapters. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask Steffi, because I was like, I thought that they said that uh, chapter two is translated in this too, but I might need to double check with them about that. Okay, well, we'll just start the prologue, whatever. Disclaimer, fan translation project, only original content develop the translation detail changes. Hey, yay, shout out to Zephyrum for translating this. Now I can click through it too. This game is an adventure game for PSP from a Japanese original. This is a doujin game created and based on the Danganronpa series by Spike Chunsoft. Characters and game settings may differ from the original story. Also, this game contains somewhat violent content. If you play in full screen, you may experience breakups and stretch screens. Window mode is duly recommended. Full screen, window mode, alt, enter. Oh yeah, I think I'm on like full screen or like closest to full screen mode. Happy birthday. My birthday was yesterday, but happy birthday to you too. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, my birthday was yesterday too. <laughs> we had such a good time playing Undertale on my birthday yesterday. And now I get to play Danganronpa on my birthday today. What a, what a beautiful life I live. But happy birthday to you uh, for your birthday yesterday. I think it was actually your birthday yesterday. <laughs> so happy birthday to you. And thanks for the donation. Appreciate you. Let me, um, hopefully there's not too many issues, but I guess I can change back to the windowed mode if we need to. You can change window size with alt. Mono lab. Okay. Danganronpa, blowback, a stage of repeated despair and hope. The word despair is not simple. I do kind of wonder if this was, it probably was going to connect to like uh, the canon games. I kind of feel like a lot of the older fan games were uh, kind of like that, you know? They like wanted to commit, connect to like uh, only somewhat violent. Yeah, I feel like it's probably more than somewhat. I think you missed my donation. Oh, did I? Let me see. I'm so sorry. Uh, oh, there it is. Thank you, Twink. <laughs> Twink. Thank you, Twink. Thank you, Kyokuro Kirigiri. Hey, Weeby, I like your hairstyle. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I bought these little things for like my Misa cosplay and I lost them when I did the cosplay, but now I can do this hairstyle all the time. And uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Sorry that I uh, missed your donation before. I'm so, I apologize about that. I think I just got distracted. The word despair is not simple. 
a sense that everything you've believed so far becomes meaningless. Only looked at one path and walked, but realized that it was wrong. The frustration that comes when you're finished. A terrible experience in which everything in itself is denied, rejected, and erased. This guy the ultimate lucky student, too. Those who know all of this part of despair. You never easily put the word despair in your mouth. Ah, uh, ah, uh, despair, oh yeah. <laughs> Junko Kenny speaking. What is, what is this? What the hell is this? Ah! I finally realized. The moment you hear the truth of everything happens because of her. Oh, we're already talking about, we're already talking about our queen. That all the efforts I've done so far is desperately futile. I was like, since this game is canceled on the bright side, we don't have to see Junko in chapter six. <laughs> I was like, no, she shows up in the prologue, Weeby. Don't you worry. Talent is hope. Something like this. Can this ugly and unmatched thing be called hope? If so, if the reality of hope is such an ugly and dirty reality, then, then maybe the world like this deserves to be sunk into despair. Oh my god, this guy really is like a Junko Kenny. As she wants, oh, as she wishes, my queen Junko loves you so freaking much. Queen. Yes, yeah, step on me, Junko. Let's stop doing the futile things that bring hope back to life. After all, what the world is hoping for is a deep, deep despair. Oh my god. I should give this guy the emo voice. <laughs> I think it's the main character talking, I assume, as much. <laughs> oh yes, Junko. Oh my god, my queen. Slay. <laughs> it was this guy that caused Junko to slay. <laughs> yeah, let's save the game. <laughs> you know, a lot was going on there, so I think it's best we save. I kind of, well, I guess we'll see. What? What is this? Um. Oh hey, there's a note. My view slowly returns as I blink my eyes. What came into that view? It was the appearance of an unfamiliar classroom that I had never seen before. <laughs> the narrator listening to Linkin Park. <laughs> Crawling in my skin. I love Junko so fucking much. Yeah. Uh, my head hurts somehow. Was it because I lied in my face? I don't even know if it is this guy, honestly. Maybe it was somebody else. <laughs> was it because I lied in my face? Lied on my face for so long on a cold desk? Uh, did you wake up now? Uh, a voice? Who, who is it? Let's see. Oh, okay. The pink-haired girl. I was like, I've seen her splash art before. Oh, she's got little hard eyes. That's cute. Are you a murderer? <laughs> Are you a murderer? I don't know. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Sorry to wake you up because you were sleeping so fondly. I was just watching from the side. She's too cute. I don't trust her. Who, who are you? Uh, you mean, ah, a self-introduction is still needed. I'm Yukari Ko Koime. Nice to meet you. Uh, so what's your name? Oh, Watanabe. I'm Watanabe Kazuki. Kazuki Watanabe. I feel like this guy is actually probably going to be like a question mark ultimate or something like that. Uh, thank you, Bree. Woo, blowback. This is my first ever fan game years ago. I feel old. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. Also, hey, Chad, how are we doing today? Oh, thanks for stopping by, Bree. Yeah, this was like one of the first fan games I ever heard about as well. That was another reason why I was like, man, I don't want to skip out on this, even if it was canceled. I remember seeing like screenshots of this, like around the time like V3 came out, and I was like, oh my god, this looks so freaking cool. And uh, I was like, man, I still want to play it. I still want to see what it's all about. I kind of hope that there's like at least a uh, Spoilers we can look at to you know show what happens afterwards um, after the cancellation. I think like uh, What was it like Rocky Road? I think did that Kazuki Watanabe, that's a good name. Kazuki if you want you can call me Yukari uh, Hey, why are you suddenly calling me by my first name? We're not friends Because I believe this will get us to know each other more quickly. We're best fucking friends now That's how it works in Danganronpa. We've known each other for two whole seconds, okay? Oh, thank you, Clover. By the way, for those who don't know, I'm Yukari Komoe's voice actor in Blowback. Dub is in work, FYI. Shout out to Zephy for casting me. Yeah, Clover, one of my mods, uh, she actually voices Yukari in this. I think there's some other people I know who are in the dub for this, too. I'm not sure if the dub is included in this playthrough, though. I guess uh, you can let me know, Clover. Because I know, I remember we said it was still kind of like in the making. Oh, have I made a mistake? Thank you for the uh, donation. Appreciate you. No, no, it, I, it was just a little unexpected. <laughs> it's embarrassing, but I, I think you're a very nice girl. 
Seeing that she protected me while sleeping, she doesn't seem to have ill thoughts. Well, I thought it was a little tacky. My heart almost skipped a beat. Oh, by the way, are you a freshman in Hope Speak Academy? Uh, freshman. Hope Speak Academy, freshman. The moment I heard those words, the memories that seemed to be hazy like a fog began to come back little by little. <laughs> oh my goodness, Peanut. <laughs> He's upset because I closed the window. <laughs> the private uh, Hope Speak Academy. The single building was built in a famous place called the Land the Land of Hope. With a long story and tradition, this school is one of the prestigious government-approved schools that produced countless talents that would be referred to as Hope. The Land of Hope. Does that make it kind of seem like it might be taking place like after, you know, the conclusion of... Well, this was made... Oh, man, this was made so long ago, too. I think, well, I think Danganronpa 3, the anime and all that stuff would have come out. Maybe it takes place, like, after that setting or something. <laughs> Did Nagito fund this? The land of hope! Oh my god, we're in Nagito land! The fact that you can graduate from this place alone confirms success in your future. Because I could see it, like, being, okay, like, after the world's destroyed and Nagi and Kirigiri and them, like, rebuild it. They, like, decide to call, I don't know, Tokyo the land of hope now or something. Of course, the fact that you are attending here alone is enough to be recognized for your talent. A famous, super elite class. With such a great school like this, there was no relationship to me at all. Even in my head, it was just perceived as just a huge reputation. However, my perception was turned 180 degrees due to a single notice that came by one day. Congratulations! You are the average high school... Oh god, we are the lucky student. Oh no! <laughs> You are the average high school student in the country who has won the right. You're a pathetic piece of shit peasant, but you, but lucky you, you got to enter into the Hope Speak Academy through your talent, ultimate lucky student. I don't know, man. <laughs> How many lucky students are total freaking psychopaths in these games? We sincerely welcome your admission to Hope Speak Academy. A notice saying that you have been admitted is not an invitation. It's saying you've been enrolled. Oh, <laughs> You've been enrolled. Okay, you can't change your mind on that like you would like you would anyways But for some reason I didn't feel reluctant apparently Kazuna wrote this message to me too a letter of admission from a school That is guaranteed for success if you graduate. It was news full of joy and hope. They don't even give you a freaking choice <laughs> I really can't believe this Oh, yeah, it's a little embarrassing, but let me introduce myself my name is Kazuki Watanabe. My family are my parents and my older sister. The art for this game is so nice, too. Like, uh, the shading and the character designs from what I've seen look really good. I don't think I've... I don't think I'm even that extraordinary. I'm just a... <laughs> I've heard that a million times. <laughs> thank you, tw uh, thank you, Twink. The ultimate lucky student is so cursed. I know at this point, like... I feel like it's more, like, creepy to say you're, like, the ultimate lucky student than, like, oh, I can't remember my talent. Like, I suspect you more if you're the lucky student. I'm like, okay, what kind of bullshit luck are you gonna have in this? But thank you for the donation. Appreciate you, Kyokuro. Kind of funny for a self-introduction, right? <laughs> His hoge is pretty interesting. It's like a frisbee. It was an opportunity for me to make my own self-intro this way. Oh, you can see his little sprite thing over here, too. Oh, well. You can't actually see it because this blocks it. Let me move it. There you go. Now you can see it. Look at the little guy in his little sprite form. It was an opportunity for me to make my own self-introduction this way. But I think I may have the talent for luck. But I... Oh, I think I really might have the talent for luck. <laughs> oh, God. You got some, like, Kamida trauma <laughs> to give me. This is the main gate of Hope Speak Academy. When I arrived here, my heart was swollen with joy and full of hope. The moment I cross the threshold, I become an honorable student here. Once he got like, once he got like the title of ultimate lucky student, he was like, oh my god, I'm, I'm a Nagito Kenny, yes! I'm also a little nervous too. It's strange, if there was, were no tension of meeting with people who I saw as beings beyond the TV, although... I'm looking forward to this. Yay. It's slay. This will be the beginning of a new life at a new school. So I have my own expectations meeting everyone. Another day, another slay. You know how you know how it goes in this game. The moment you take one step with such anticipation and hope, you pass out. You get drugged by Junko. Um... It was all I could remember until then. Oh, yeah, he does kind of look like uh, Shuichi. 
<laughs> a Junko Kenny and a Nagito Kenny. We do not trust this guy whatsoever. Um, do you have any memories? Yeah, I think you're right. I'm a freshman. <laughs> I'm just an ordinary guy who came in as the ultimate lucky student. I don't know, man. It's so weird that he was like, I think I do have a talent for luck. Now that I think about it, all this weird shit always happens to me. Maybe it is my bullshit luck powers. Um, is that so? Oh, I'm... I'm also the ultimate love counselor, but it, to be honest, it's a little unfamiliar for me. <laughs> Aw, she's cute. I guess that makes sense why she has the heart uh, eyes, too. Love, is it? That word makes me sad because it somehow feels like we have a long way. <laughs> what, are you trying to imagine yourself with her already? Feels like we have a long way to go. You guys are already best friends. Come on. Oh, uh, thank you, David. Weekly reminder that I love you. Have a great stream. Oh, David, thank you so much. I hope you feel better, too. I know you're kind of going through a hard time yesterday. But I hope you're feeling better, and I hope we can play board games soon, too. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, uh, wait one minute. What are you doing? Why are you getting depressed? It's just that dating seems to be too far away. <laughs> In my opinion, Kasaki, I guess she might be really good at, like, um... Diffusing like drama and stuff too. She's like a love counselor. It's like a therapist, right? It's like a couples counselor So I kind of wonder if she'd be pretty good at like uh, De-escalating stuff, but I guess we'll see In my opinion, Kazuki really looks like a good man. I'm sure he can meet a good partner Don't be depressed friend friendly friend. You're like a brother to me So I just want you to find someone good for you. Oh god, please stop because I'll help as much as I can. Okay uh, Thank you it may have been a word in my mouth, but it felt true to me. She was there with me even before I woke up in the beginning. I've only received help in many ways. Next time, I have to make sure to help. By the way, where in the world are we? I think it's the first time I've seen this place. Did you feel that way? When I entered here, I suddenly felt dizzy. And then I arrived here. Of course, you were next to me. Um, I think that happened to me, too. The moment I tried to enter, I suddenly lost consciousness. I guess it would be some kind of, like, gas or something they put in to, uh, like, knock them out. It's strange. I don't think anyone else has gone through that kind of thing before. I don't believe it's normal. It's too unnatural to be called as a coincidence. Uh, let's start investigating this place. Then maybe the answer will come out. Okay, I'll help you. Welcome to Hope Speak Academy. You're back, baby. You'll never leave. Before starting, I'll be giving a simple explanation. Use the arrows to move the character on the screen. I just kind of feel like I'm just like always stuck in Hope Speak Academy now that I've played so many fan games. It's like, you're back, Weeby. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god, yet again, you're back in Hope Speak Academy. Don't you fucking love it here? The objects can be investigated. And you can inspect the target by pressing the Z key or the space bar. Okay, use the arrows. I wonder if I can do. Uh, WASD too. Also, if you are not sure what to investigate, please note that pressing the Q button will display the object to the investigated to be investigated on the screen. Okay, cool. That makes it easy. Do do. You... Oh, whoa! He's oh my god! He's so fast! <laughs> Holy crap! I feel like he's, he looks kind of swole too. Is that just me? His arms? Yeah. <laughs> Dang, let's fucking small bro. Arm day, every day, get wrecked. <laughs> I feel like it's what Hoge's gonna move into. Oh my god, it is moving. She's like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? <laughs> yeah, gonna get my laps in, babe. <laughs> I don't wanna get friend zone no more. It's like, damn, even though I did arm day every single day in my life, I still got friend zone so freaking hard. <laughs> okay, uh, there's a note here. I was like, I feel like she kind of looks swole too, honestly. It's just her hair doesn't emphasize it as much. <laughs> Welcome to Hope Speaking Academy. Welcome to Hope Speak Academy, you guys. The entrance ceremony will be held at the gym at 9 a.m., so don't be late. Let's be an honest student who doesn't want to be late. I don't know why I'm reading this in Kazuna's voice. Y you guys? Um, I found that note as soon as I woke up. Uh, what time is it now? If you look at the clock on the wall, it's 8.20 a.m., if this is morning, there is still enough time. I guess we were out like all night then, probably. Okay, where's the other place we were supposed to investigate? This random uh, corner over here. <laughs> I can't get over how uh, forget swole the sky looks. What the? It looks like it looks like there was supposed to be a window in this position, but it's covered with an iron plate. It really is. It's completely tightly closed, so it doesn't seem to budge at all, and you can't even see outside. Interesting. 
interesting. Oh, you can click on all this stuff too. Cool. This is a surveillance camera? Why the heck is this in a classroom? Are we under surveillance right now? Pretty creepy. Okay, I guess it's blackboard. It's a blackboard. It seems we're in a classroom. I'm pretty sure it is. And freaking dud, dude. Is it 8.20 a.m. right now? I feel like it's morning, but I can't see the outside. Yeah, I always kind of find it interesting that it's like, Monica could literally just be like lying to us. Is this a TV? This screen is small for a class TV. It could be used for videos. I don't know anymore. I give up. Oh my god, crawling in my skin. I think it's a little too soon to start singing Lincoln Park, bro. I went around and investigated this this presumed classroom with Yukari. There wasn't much to look. No, rather, the windows were covered by iron plates. Maybe I should give this guy the emo voice. There was also a CCTV for surveillance. Can this place with the prison-like atmosphere really be called a classroom? Hey, Kazuki. Uh, yeah? Even if we only think about it, I think it would be better to get out of here while doing it. To get out of here while doing it. You think so too? I think we've searched everything we could here. He <laughs> does not kind of emo though so far. <laughs> okay, I heard small noises coming to my ears as if people talking, small murmurs coming from somewhere. I think there are maybe other people besides us. Uh, really? I'm not sure if it's a person or not, but let's go to the place where the sounds are coming from. And like the spooky dark mood, the corridor of the building. Okay, it does look, man, exactly like uh, <laughs> Danganronpa 1 with like the randomly colored halls and stuff. Oh, there's like a little thingy right there too. I guess it just says classroom, right? Unlike this spooky dark mood, the corridor of the building was clean as a new building. That point added to the bizarreness even more. Where do we hear that sound? Is it over there? <laughs> oh, man. 1B classroom. What's that thing over there, too? 1A classroom. Despair Hotel! Oh, is it like where we do free time events or something? Oh my god, do we have love suites? Yes! <laughs> I hope so, that'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, there's a huge red door, but I can't enter because it's locked. Okay, it's this area. AV room. Oh, what's this? Creepy store. Oh man, that's gonna remind me of Teruya. He always loved the store. Okay, here we go. There must be someone there. It's definitely people's voices. I hope at least a person in charge, there's at least a person in charge of this facility. Suppressing this strangely dense tension. I open the door. I gently open the door. Oh, hey! Okay, cool. Yeah, the art for this game looks so good. Oh, hey! There's a little country guy back there! Yeehaw! <laughs> yeah, I know what voice I'm giving you! As soon as the door opened, the eyes are... My eyes were focused on this side. It's no joke to think the eyes of people in a space that look quite large. Even a single glance was pouring... Pointing their eyes towards me. Uh, um, you are... Oh, yeah, uh, thank you guys for, um... Thanks, Captain Draken, for the donation, not gonna lie. Pertax seems kinda like dweeby. <laughs> that my alter ego dweeby? Oh, my God. <laughs> my alter ego dweeby. Thank you, Bree. Kazuki's lies are now canonically from MCR songs. <laughs> it does seem just a, just a little, just a little emo. <laughs> just a little bit. Oh, she's so tiny back there, too. This guy looks interesting as well. All the designs look pretty good, I think, so far. Interesting, interesting. But thanks, guys, for the donations. Appreciate ya. You are... Um, so you want to say hello? Hello, everyone. My name is Yukari Kom Koame. Are you also new students of Hope Speak Academy? Uh, you guys, too? As expected. Nice to meet you. Oh, she's got, like, a Band-Aid on her forehead. Only um, only a minute has passed from the first meeting to the time we exchange light greetings. She had already blended naturally among the others. God, if I could never. Also, if these guys are freshmen at Hope's Peak, is everyone an ultimate student? Somehow, at first glance, I can feel a strange aura that is different from, from an ordinary person like me. I was slightly amazed. This is all yellow. S. Who is that? Hey, don't stand idly and come in. 
Uh, this isn't the time for that. I also need to in introduce myself properly. I'm just a normal student. Just a normal little guy. <laughs> Who's the ultimate lucky student? You can chat with the ultimate students by using the investigation button. Z. Talk to a total of 15 people with five in each group. 15? Wait, one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait. Okay, wait. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I just use my mouse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, sixteen including me. It's like, man, there's no Makuro hiding in the school. Damn it. <laughs> Okay, whatever. We'll just go in order. You, child. Your names. Conjuro. Oh, the name's Conjuro. Hayamoto. What's your name? Oh. Oh. Oh, so that's what it means by the animations. Maybe it would be better to switch to the other mode. One second, guys. I might do that really quickly. Um. Oh, wait. Oh, here we go. If it's gonna mess up their intros, then yeah, I think I'd rather just do that. Dee -dee 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 Wait, let me, uh, this one, right? Okay. Let me get you centered again. Sorry, guys. I didn't realize there's gonna be some weird stuff with that. Hopefully, this fixes it. It's Kazuki Watanabe. Nice to meet you, Hayamoto. Child, I would very much appreciate it as. Hayamoto Sensei! <laughs> uh, he speaks a little weird, but it feels fresh and dignified. He's. I think he's a person who values politeness, so I should be careful in my way of speaking. By the way, does Watanabe believe in spacemen or astronauts and extraterrestrial civilizations? Oh, what was his talent again? I kind of missed it because I was too uh, busy looking at the, the glitch. <laughs> uh, are you the one who thinks there is one? Uh, indeed! Oh, he's kind of goofy! Indeed, that is correct! I hope we can have a deep discussion about it later! Uh, later! Right, right, later. He seems to have a little odd side. <laughs> oh, he seems cute! I already introduced myself to this person. No, I want to hear more! I want to hear more dialogue! He's cute! Okay. Hi, I'm Mihiko... Mikihiko Koyasunaga. <laughs> Koyasunaga! God, I'm totally butchering your name. Miki Hiko. Probably just call her Miki. Um, uh, um, nice, nice to meet you. Is that a little kitty on her? Oh, I just got a little kitty doll! Oh my goodness, that's so cute! Oh, that's missing an ear, though. That's so sad. I already love you. Ultimate puppeteer. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that's kind of a creepy-ass talent. Never mind. I take it back. I take it back. Oh, man. I feel like... Oh god, a puppeteer could get like a really- Oh, super high school level archer. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I kind of missed it since I was too distracted. But, uh, she kind of reminds me of Chihiro, actually, now that I think about it. Some of her sprites, the way they're laid out. But I feel like a puppeteer could get like a really creepy, like, execution. Honestly, like, I can just see, like, Monokuma controlling them and stuff. Oh, man. I kind of want her to get executed because, like, I feel like- Oh! Oh. My bad. My bad. Oh my bad, it's a boy! Okay, they're a boy! I'm so sorry! Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, King, for misgendering you. Uh, you're just- you're just so pretty! But, uh, I feel like, um, what was I saying? That'd be a cool, um, that'd be a cool execution, though, for a puppeteer. I feel like it'd be really creepy. And our first encounter, I was almost confused whether they were female or male, but thanks to the subtle voice, I was able to recognize them as male, unlike Weeby who just misgendered them, fucking asshole. If they're using a doll, then this person makes dolls. No, maybe he's a ventriloquist? If I knew there were these types of people, I would have looked at the bulletin board for the list of freshmen and investigated more. Hey, what does a puppeteer do specifically? I don't know anything about them. Should I change the voice? Well, I can do anything with dolls. Make it like a little bit more masculine. I'm used to being... I'm used to being called by anything among those skills. Ah, I see. What about the doll you're holding? Oh, Mr. Kitty Chan. This is my childhood friend, Petty. Oh, that's an interesting name. <laughs> and I'm petty as hell too, so remember that. Hey, hey, hey Petty, should we, should we say hi? Oh my god, no! <laughs> Not controlling the kitty! Hello, I'm called Petty. Let's get along in the future! Why do I feel like he's the mastermind? Whoa, this is awesome! 
<laughs> just because it's like, I don't know, man. Controlling like the little dolls. And then there's like Monokuma, who's like, uh, <laughs> who's also kind of like a doll in a way. But I guess he's like too obvious. I don't even know if we'll be able to find out who the mastermind is. But, <laughs> but they're my main suspect. Wow, this is awesome. It really makes you believe the doll is talking. Um, yes, I'll ask him in the future, Petty. Hey, yay! Oh, is it just like Petty, like Pet Ch Okay, just like, their name's Pet, but just like pet E. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you made a friend, <laughs> Pet-chan. Okay, you're kind of cute, but a little creepy. Koyasuna shows a big smile when he plays with the doll. He seems like he could be a soft-hearted friend, so we might get along well. I don't know, I don't trust anybody who talks to dolls in these games. No. I just feel like he's gonna be at one point like, what, Petty? You want me to kill them all? Really? The, uh, but I don't want to. Uh, I guess I will though. But <laughs> I kind of feel like I kind of feel like it though. <laughs> um. Okay. Mikado voice maybe? Huh. Oh, actually, I wonder if I should move this too. It's kind of covering up the text. That's annoying. Let's move it over here. No matter how much I look, I can't see anyone who could be helpful. Oh god, it's so hard. Being so amazing and so hard being a Tagami Kenny. I think I just heard a very unpleasant mood. Oh, excuse me, my name is Ryo Komori. Ultimate interpreter? Okay, interesting. I was be like entrepreneur or something. Uh, nice to meet you. Right. Hey, can I ask what kind of talent you entered at Hope Suit Peak Academy with? Oh god, this guy's about to roast me. Um, oh, I'm the ultimate lucky student, so I came by the process of- Oh, disgusting! Get out of my face, you peasant! Oh, lottery, well, I knew it. This guy's all so bad. Oh, what annoyance! He's kind of like Damien from. Uh, he's kind of like Damien from uh, Project Eden's Garden. Oh my God! I'm surrounded by losers. Oh, it's so hard being the only real ultimate here. Oh, disgusting! Turn my fan really quickly. It's getting a little hot. There we go. Um. So this guy's the ultimate douchebag. Feels like it would be kind of dangerous to approach this person. I feel like I'll need to be careful from now on. Okay, who's next? This person. Um, may you be in peace. Peace. The names are Sienna, Sena, Sena Datanashi, Ultimate Violinist. Okay, she's pretty. That's a cool talent too. Ultimate Violinist. I've always wanted to play the violin. <laughs> Damon and Chat. How dare you? <laughs> I mean, it's not my fault. He's kind of like you, bro. <laughs> That's the same. That's the same kind of shit you would say. Ah, uh, did she say in peace now? I didn't even know in my dreams that I would hear this wor word in reality, other than in dramas. Wait, Datanashi, is that the only daughter of the Datanashi family? The violinist, which is becoming a popular topic these days, right? I guess she might be like a celebrity kind of too. I think I saw you on TV last time. Oh, did you see that? Oh, I'm so ashamed. It's so embarrassing being so famous. Oh, Cater. Oh, oh, Cater. Hope you get to dub her. Ah, oh, that'd be cool. Looking at her reaction, she seems to be the real person. She seems to be the real one. I have to say, Hope Speak Academy is one of the best schools in the world for having such a famous family member ad admitted to the school. I'm Kazuki Watanabe. Let's get along well in the future. Yeah, her design is so pretty. I like her design a lot so far. Yes, I don't know if we'll be lacking in some manners, or if we'll be in trouble. Or if I'll be in trouble. I'll ask you in the future. She seems nice. She's a typical lady type. Even though she's in front of me, she feels like someone from another world. Mr. Watanabe, was it? If you don't mind me asking, I have one question. Ah, huh, what is it? It's that one... It's that one thing that sprawled over your head. Oh, <laughs> Okay, it looks so weird. What, why is it moving? Oh, uh, you know, it's got a mind of its own. <laughs> just, just ignore little guy. Uh, shut up. Uh, what, what would he name uh, his hoge? A hoge? A hoge? <laughs> uh, shut up, hoge. Uh, this, it's just my hair. Oh my, that's amazing. If you don't mind, I'd like to touch it. Will that be okay? Kind of reminds me of Sonya so far. I think that's even like one of Sonya's sprites, right? Uh, sure, it's fine. <laughs> 
<laughs> it, it, it might make some noises when you touch it, though. It's like, meh. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, he's just a little guy. He, I, I got kind of used to sharing my body with him. It's no, it's no problem. Thank you. This guy's like an alien. <laughs> pat, pat. <laughs> it's amazing. It's like an explanation point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. She's a very curious lady. <laughs> She's cute so far. I like her. I guess we can get another introduction for her, Yukari. Once again, I'll formally introduce myself to you. I'm the ultimate love counselor, Yukari Ko Koime. You can call me Yukari if you find it comfortable. Ultimate love counselor. She's cute, but she's too cute. I just have trust issues. Oh, Kazuki, how are the greetings going? Oh, Kazuki, how are the greetings going? I haven't seen half of them yet. How about you? I already finished myself. I was relieved that everyone seemed to be good people. <laughs> I mentioned this before, but she's good. Thanks to her personality, she was able to become the ultimate love counselor. Um, um, what's wrong? Am I the only one with an Ahoge? I guess, interesting. Well, I guess there's a guy with a hat on his uh, head, so maybe that guy has an Ahoge too. I was wondering if she was a love counselor. Does that mean she has a lot of uh, dating experience? <laughs> Uh, Yukari, have you ever dated someone? I don't think she has, because she was kind of making, like, a big deal, out, like, when she first introduced herself, like, I don't have that much experience. <laughs> you know, it's just hard. I feel like most characters are like that in these games. <laughs> well, now who shall we greet again? <laughs> totally just ignored my question. <laughs> uh, um, what just happened? No way. Did she try to avoid the answer? <laughs> she did. I feel like I was kind of like that, though, like, growing up. Like, in high school, I feel like I was always helping my friends with, like, love advice, but I was never, like, dating anybody. Okay, let's talk to this person. Um, Greetings. My Yurino. You can comfortably call me my. Okay. Ultimate researcher. Okay, I kind of thought she was going to be, like, a doctor for a second. I don't have much interest in famous people, but I recall seeing her name many times in a newspaper. She is so famous that she was called the goose or the chicken that lays golden eggs in research in the research community, which produces innovative results. It's only participation if it's only participation on research. I'm Kazuki Watanabe. I'm looking forward to get to know you. Oh, I'm getting looked. Uh, blah, 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 I'm getting confused. Yes, Mr. Watanabe. By the way, can you tell me when is your birthday? She's so formal, Mister. What? I don't know if I can see her eyes. I think they seem just like circles. It's kind of hard since I made the screen small. It's like way smaller now for me, so I can't really see as many details before. I have to look at OBS to kind of see them. My birthday is September 29th. The 29th day. You're a copper. Oh, what? Oh, why? <laughs> oh, my point wasn't the copper, but rather the metal copper. See you, the atomic number, 29. It's not a, it's like horoscopes, but like the nerd version. <laughs> it's not a curse or anything, so don't worry. Oh, right. I, I see. It's surprising. You don't usually take out name. You don't usually take out names out of elements during your self introductions. Uh, uh, do you? She does. Looks like I need some scientific knowledge. If I want to continue talking to her, should I study science? Okay. Oh, hey, it's the emo guy. Yo, good to meet you, Toshiro Takahara. I guess not emo, maybe, well, I don't know, does he look emo? I can't tell. Like gangster emo? <laughs> I can't tell. Let's get along if you, have pro if you have problems with something. Oh, he seems nice, actually. I can help you out. You can count on me. I thought he was going to be like, fuck off, loser and nerd. He just looks so angry. Ultimate Tracer? Tra Ultimate Tracer? <laughs> it's like an art tracer? Oh, parkour. Okay. Parkour! Oh my god. I'm totally gonna make fun of this guy, dude. I just imagine him every time he's like going from one place to another. He's just like doing parkour. Just like kind of jumps a little bit. I'm just like, parkour! Parkour, man! Yeah! Parkour. There was a time when I admired such a sport. I'm not very... Is it a sport? <laughs> Athletic myself. It's a sport I don't even think about trying. But it doesn't seem, but doesn't he seem kind of like a bully type? He just looks so angry. He's just got an RBF, you know? Plus, he's so short. I, okay, we respect short kings here. 
Uh, what was this guy's name again? Uh, oh, Kazuki! Sorry to ask this, but are you offering... Why are you offering to help with such difficult tasks? Your face is kind of mean, bro. Oh, look at him! Oh, he's just a little guy. He's cute. <laughs> oh, uh, this is another freaked out guy. Other people told me I looked like the bad guy at first. Sorry, I thought that at first, too. I don't have a particular reason. I'm just used used to helping others since a young age. If someone's having a hard time, I can't look away without helping them. <laughs> Aw, he's cute. Uh, what? Uh, nothing. You're a cool guy. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> don't you get embarrassed saying that kind of stuff into other people's faces? <laughs> ah, he's embarrassed. <laughs> Contrary to his rough appearance, he is a warm-hearted boy. I should apologize to him one day because I suspected him earlier. Oh, I like him. He's cute. Oh, he might be my favorite so far. Misako Rokuhana. Misako Rokuhana. Nice to meet you. Our oh, little tie. That's cute. It's a little kitty on it. Nice. I think most of the other characters do seem to have just normal eyes. Like, just a circle? It really only seems like it's, um, Yukari. Or wait, yeah, Yukari. That has, like, the heart. He's so dead. Can you guys stop? Can you guys stop? Okay, another good thing about this being cancelled is that <laughs> after chapter two, we can just headcanon that they all escape and they all live fabulous, full, happy lives away from Junko and Despair. They just get, they get rescued by the, the Kinjo cult. The Kinjo cult breaks in and rescues them. Slay. Right. Right, nice to meet you, Rokuhana. Likewise. Feels a bit uncomfortable to be called by my last name. So you can be at ease and call me by my first name. Okay, she seems more friendly too than I thought. The image of raising her glasses while answering bluntly reminds me of the image of a class leader who is the model student. Okay, Roku, I mean, uh, no, Masako. That's good. Now, do you have any questions about me? I saw a post of the freshman planning to enter, and it said that you were the ultimate curator? What is a curator, exactly? Curators are responsible for managing the financial management of museums and art galleries, public relations, exhibitions, and artists. It's a job that takes care of many things, such as nurturing. You can say that I'm the general caretaker of a museum. Okay, interesting. You mean something like the brain, <laughs> the brain of a museum? Um, to put it simply, it, it would be like that. You know, I'm just the most necessary part to the function of a museum. She's a grown-up girl who is in a grown-up, who's in a grown-up world. It sounds like a song lyric. She may feel a little cold, but it feels like she's someone you can trust and rely on. Ah, oh, she seems nice, too. She kind of like her design kind of reminds me of Ray, but she seems a lot, a lot nicer than Ray. <laughs> Although I do love Ray. Oh, well. Huh, I thought we should introduce ourselves here. You want to know me? Then it's polite to say your name first. Is it not? Should I give her the Kazuna voice, maybe? Does that fit? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Sorry, my name is Kazuki Watanabe. N n nice to meet you. Chinami China Hasami. Also, that's a very ordinary name. I can't tell if I'll forget it. <laughs> I can't tell if I'll forget it in a minute afterwards. Uh, I already forgot it. Oopsie. Ultimate hairstylist. Ah, oh, that makes sense, I guess. She's kind of got a funky hairstyle. Um, this girl is hard to talk to. She seems to have very high standards. Please, make some effort to try not to let me forget your name. If we go back later and you hear me say, who are you? You won't be in a very good mood either. Uh, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> Just say your name to me every time we see each other. Good. Uh, what happened to this girl? I'm getting exhausted just by talking to her. Okay, interesting. Um, ahem, ahem. Oh, this girl. Yeah, she seems like... Is that a Naruto headband? <laughs> what are you, the ultimate weeb? <laughs> oh my god, is it? it's literally me, the ultimate weeb. I feel you, girl. I feel you. Whoa, she looks like she's like injured a lot, though. <laughs> Why does she have band-aids on her hair? <laughs> you know, my hair my hair also has a life of its own. Lone life of its own, Kazuki. And it got cut. When it gets cut, it bleeds. It needs these band-aids, damn it. Whoa! What how do you suddenly how did you suddenly appear next to me? There was no sign of movement at all. I've been standing here the whole time! 
Oh, you were amazed. <laughs> For me, this is a piece of cake. That's it. Y you are? If you wish to know me, I am pretty flower that blooms on the battlefield. What? What? What is that? Ta what the fuck is that talent? The ultimate erotic ninja in so on. Are you... <laughs> Are you a porn star? I don't understand what? <laughs> the ultimate erotic. What do you do? You just are lewd on the battlefield? <laughs> and so on. And then, then. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> okay, ultimate ninja. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. I was like, the what? The what? <laughs> just flash people on the battlefield and it distracts them, you know? That's how I get by. <laughs> ninja is a nin. And then I can understand, but where does the eroticism come from? <laughs> I don't even know where to put my eyes now. Hey, look up. Look up, Kazuki. Um, what's, what's, what's your name? Uh, Kazuki Watanabe. Oh, Watanabe. Did Watanabe fall? Also fall in love with this sensual charm of mine? Be careful. This doesn't mean anything to me. Every, literally everybody falls in love with me. <laughs> Personally, I don't like when people wear... Oh, pff. Oh, man. Personally, I don't like when people wear bold outfits like that. What I like is more innocent, trustworthy types. Like Yukari. Yeah! Okay, I thought she was gonna be like a Mekon type of character, but she seems kind of full of herself. I guess, like... She might be the type of character to use her, like, uh, looks to manipulate people. Why do you got bandages on your hair then, girl? It is, I don't know, it is kind of interesting she has the band-aids, though. I figured she might have been, like, bullied or something, but I guess not. Yeah! Let's leave this girl smiling happily and say hello to the other guys over there. Yeah, finally some dudes, hell yeah. Oh my god! Yes, the country man! Tato Shimi... Shima... Sh sh wait, Shimagami. Oh my god, are you a Shinigami? Oh, are you a freshman, too? <laughs> are you a freshman, too? Nice to meet you. Tato Shimigami, let's do our best not to be confused with the Shinigami. I kind of wish, <laughs> we kind of, I want the southern guy, ultimate farmer. Oh, that makes sense. I'm just a little old farmer in a big world, yeehaw. Nice to meet you, my name is Kazuki Watanabe, yeehaw. Kazuki, Kazuki Watanabe, or I think they might have just been a typo. Kazuki Watanabe. How come it sounds like a girly? How come it sounds like a girly? He got a girl name, bro. It's not Kazuhi, it's Kazuke. Oh, uh, it's sorry. I, I heard it wrong. It's okay. Uh, I like his little freckles. His reaction is slightly dumb in his fashion sense. It seems, okay, he's, oh, okay, I was gonna say that. He is serving ultimate Florida, no. <laughs> not the ultimate Florida man, oh my god. No, don't disrespect him. If he does do some crazy shit, though, like if he is a murderer or something, I'm totally gonna call him Florida Man. <laughs> Breaking news, Florida Man kills somebody <laughs> with his own handkerchief. <laughs> he smothers somebody to death with his farmer's hat. But it feels like those elements come together. His reaction is slightly dumb, and his fashion sense seems a bit odd, but it feels like those elements come together to highlight the image of a, a sample country youth, yeehaw. Still, where in the world are we? Damn, there's piles of crops that need to be taken care of. Uh, do you like farming? D do I like it? My love is not small enough to express it with such clumsy words. The crops I grow are like my own children. I mean, don't you don't you eat them, bro? Is it like is it like eating your children? I don't want to talk about that part. Seeing him speak so proudly, his passion towards the crops was conveyed in me. He may seem like a dummy, but his passion towards his talent is amazing. I like him too. Just, if anything, it's just because I can do the country voice. Yeehaw! Uh, yay! Hello! I'm your idol, Kana Ise. Mm, I'm 17 years old. Just like a, just like a flower? What kind of, what kind of flower is 17 years old? Just like a flower. <laughs> okay. I don't think that, I don't think that works, but it, it's whatever. You're an idol. You, you don't need a proper education. I look forward to our kind meeting. Thank you very much. And yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, star? Okay. Ultimate voice actress. Okay, cool. What's her design? Okay, it looks like speakerphones, maybe? 
on her like little tie ribbon things. An advertisement pops up in mind, in my head, the moment I hear her lively voice. It was definitely a voice that appeared an official ad of a large company. <laughs> it's like something like really embarrassing, like adult diapers or something. It's like, hey, I know you from that commercial. Please don't, please don't remind me about that. <laughs> please don't remind me about that, uh, <laughs> that commercial I had to do. Oh, I mean, oh dear. Uh, say you, um... I ask, are you my master? Uh, what, girl, what? Uh, what? What are you talking about? Huh? No reaction? Uh, why? Aha, Mr. Watanabe. This is the case where you don't have Im immunity, right? So when I see the final decisive line, you didn't even react to it. So I guess I... So did I guess right? Why are you doing, why are you doing my pose? Uh, I guess so. I tried to get along for a while, but I still couldn't figure out what the previous line was supposed to mean. I guess it was from like a like a show or something. She's nice to be cheerful, but she also is a bit tiring when we talk. <laughs> she seems interesting, a very big personality. Oh, oh, are you another are you another fa farmer? Oh my god, the emo farmer! <laughs> She's got like a little twig out of her mouth, or they got a twig out of their mouth. But then they got like skulls on their on their clothes. <laughs> Ultimate emo farmer, yeehaw. Tore Akatsubak Akatsubaki. Not pleased to meet ya. Ultimate architect. Okay. Whatever your architect, I just think of Ted from How I Met Your Mother. Oh, oh, nice to meet you. I'm Kazuki Watanabe. Let's do our best in the future. <laughs> <laughs> What? I'm trying to be nice! I seem to be getting the biggest stare in my life on this very moment. Hey, you. Uh, yes? Why are you so afraid of a girl? It's not good to see someone being so intolerable as you. Um... Uh, <laughs> what is that stupid reaction? If you are a man, then introduce yourself more proudly. Uh, my, my name's Kazuki Watanabe. Nice to meet you. Are you even like my hero and be all like, that's not what a man should do? It's like, are you gonna do your toxic masculinity thing? That's better. Don't mess around like that in front of me from now on. Those are kinds. Those are the kinds of people I hate the most, such as those who break apart without a clue, or those who are just run out of toughness. Oh, thank you, Jeff. Everywhere. Uh, Southern Undertale, emo blowback, such great taste. <laughs> you know, that's just that's just how we do. That's just how we do on the Weeby News streams, you know? Thank you for the donation though. Appreciate you, Jeff. Uh, I'll be careful next time. Scary. So scary. Oh yeah, I've seen pictures of this guy before. He's goofy. Uh, hi, I'm Yus Yusaku Fujita. Uh, may I ask you something, buddy? <laughs> He's kind of goofy looking. Ultimate? Oh, composer. I guess that makes sense with his outfit. Uh, say, what's your name, buddy? Uh, my name is Kazuki Watanabe. Uh, nice to meet you, Fujita. Likewise. I know this is sudden, but in order to get to know each other a little bit, shall I give you a, a simple quiz? Uh, quiz? I like his little hair loop -dee. Yes, listen carefully. Uh, uh -huh. What would happen if you boiled soup with lions? What? <laughs> if you boil a soup with lions, it get get killed to death by the lions? This isn't what I think it is, right? The correct an answer is an animal kingdom. What? Boil soup with lions. Do I <laughs> Do I? I don't get it. Am I? Am I just born stupid? Blah. Oh, uh, so lame. I expected it, but it's way too lame. Uh, cool smile. How do you? F uh, I am also. I am also like a ultimate idol, just like that other chick. Mm. Cool smile. How do you feel when you laugh? Always live with a smile. Now you shall go. Uh, peace. At uh, peace. Oh, uh, good, good. Blah, 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 blah. 
I was a little relieved that in essence, he wasn't a bad person. I wish he could do something with the lame gag code. <laughs> yeah, he's he's silly though. Oh, oh my god, this Kamida looking motherfucker. <laughs> Emo Kamida! <laughs> Oh god, you're giving me bad, the worst vibes imaginable. I don't know, probably first victim though, now that I think about it. Rattling, probably a red herring, probably, probably, but <laughs> just the vibes, the vibes are so off. Rattling sounds. Hello, hello there. Now this guy needs the emo voice. <laughs> Rolling sounds, if he ever speaks. That's some tremendous speed. I can't even see his hands while aligning the cube. Oh, he's doing like one of those little cube things. Looking right next to him. Uh, I'm Kazuki Watanabe. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, you are? Uh, crawling in my skin. Shozo e Asayoru. Okay, he gets the emo voice. Never mind. Ultimate, ultimate cubing. <laughs> what the? What does that mean? I thought it was be like puzzle solver or something. Why is it always the puzzle solvers that are emo? First Lyle and now this guy though. I mean, I, I'm assuming that's, that's what he does. <laughs> well, I don't know what the fuck cubing is supposed to be. <laughs> I just I just turn things into cubes, bro. It's whatever, man. <laughs> Sorry, you can't be cool like me. And then I'll call you. I bet his uh, execution be interesting though too. I feel like he'd get turned into like a cube of some sort. I don't know. Then I'll call you Asayoru. Is that fine? <laughs> More rolling sounds. <laughs> okay then. Leave. You're disturbing me. Hey, uh, all right. If you're not gonna sing Evan Essence next to me, then just freaking leave, bro. He's a hard to approach guy. He's kind of like another version of Rio. Okay, cool. Everyone is amazing in many ways. I only just greeted them in my introduction, but I'm so tired. Everyone seems to have personalities that suit their talents in huge ways. Kazuki, uh, why are you troopy? Oh, Yukari. How is it? Is everyone good people? Uh, yeah, I mean, besides that, <laughs> besides that Byakuya guy. <sighs> yeah, all of them are good people. I got to properly meet everyone. Kazuki, you seem nervous. Huh? Don't pretend you're not. Your face has everything written in it. At the time, Yukari put her palms on both of my cheeks. Aw, smiled softly, and... <laughs> Wake up! Aw, she's cute. Like the new sprite. <laughs> Squeeze! Uh, ouch! I don't know. God dang it. She's giving me first killer vibes, though. It's just because of the Sayaka thing. Surely, surely not. But, like, every time there's, like, a cute girl in a fangan who's, like, all flirting with you and stuff, I'm like, nah... She's about to, she's about to try to murder me. Ouch. Uh, are you sick? I'm sorry. I must have miscalculated my strength. I was just trying to cheer you up a bit. It's okay. I was just surprised. Uh, thanks, Yukari. Thanks to her, the tension was, has eased a bit. The pressure surrounding me has disappeared. It seems Yukari can really help in many ways. Wait, everyone. Could you please pay attention? I have a story to tell you. Some people said hello to me, and there are others that still have still yet to do so. I'll start by introducing myself. I am the ultimate curator, Masako Rokuhana. Nice to meet you. And now ask for my story. <laughs> okay, now it's all of a sudden it's now time for my free time events. Allow me to drama dump on all of you. Hey, hey, what's your job as a curator? That sounds a pretty cool, Star. Is that a job name from an anime or game somewhere? I'll be answering questions about me later. So will you please just shut up and listen to my trauma dump now? Oh, oh, oh my god, that's great! Um, uh, um, I'm sorry! I guess the first impression wasn't wrong. She's definitely the type of person with strong... She's definitely a girl boss. First, I want to make sure if any of us left felt a severe vertigo at the main gate of Hope Speak Academy before entering here. She do be, she do be giving girl boss vibes. Please raise your hand for a moment. And Masako's words, the hands of everybody, including me, who only looked at the others, raising hands one by one. And in the same way, Masako's hand also raised. Everybody. I see. I don't think so. One person did not raise their hand. Oh. <laughs> I don't raise my hands. It's kind of lame, bro. You there. Didn't you hear me? Uh, um... 
I think a lot of people here went through something like this. And maybe it's the same for him. Maybe it's just too emo to reply. Uh, why not just call him uncooperative guy? <laughs> the ultimate uncooperative guy. More like the ultimate emo. Anyways, back to the point. Everyone felt the unknown dizziness, correct? Um, indeed. It's like the sky and Earth reverse. Reverse in an instant. Oh, I can- uh, Oh, I can use that as a lyrics! Not the time, bro. Alright, the same thing happened to me. I thought- I thought it was just a mild vertigo, but if other people said that, even though I passed out and woke up like 24 hours later, I just thought it was a mild case of vertigo, you know, it's whatever. Yeah, me! I got way too dizzy. It was the same for me. Uh, me too. R -r right, Pet Chan? <laughs> this guy's so freaking <laughs> creepy. I'm sorry, but I don't know. It's just the talking to an inanimate. Inanimate objects thing it just creeps me <laughs> right pet chan if pet chan says it also happened to him guys, too <laughs> Oh Man, he gives me such like killer vibes I, I kind of hope he is a killer for one of these just cuz I want to see a puppeteer execution That sounds so cool. The other started talking in an instant when they learn they have one thing in common only then the conversation proceeded Attention everyone shut up what we have learned so far is that we are freshmen at Hope's Peak Academy. And as soon as we entered the main gate of the academy, we felt dizzy. Does anybody know what this place is? Or for what purpose it was built for? If anyone has an opinion, please let me know. Um, this is just my speculation. The place where I first opened my eyes, it looked like a classroom? Um, maybe this is Hope's Peak Academy or something. I mean, yeah, wouldn't they? I feel like that would be like the, you know, kind of more obvious idea because we walked into Hope's Peak Academy then we passed out and we we're in a classroom. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of kind of obvious, but you know. There was also that note with instructions, so you mean the note that told you to come to the gym at 9? If that's the case, I saw it too! And I woke up, when I woke up, it was on the desk, y'all. Yeah, that's the one! Um, what do you think, Miss Torre? Uh, what about me? You obviously mentioned being the ultimate architect, didn't you? I'd like to hear your opinion as an architect about the speculation that this is Hope's Peak Academy. Fine, my opinion as an architect. Got it. If that's the case, I shall tell you. I don't know if I really should give her a southern accent. It's just the twig in her mouth, you know? In conclusion, I think there's some truth to what she said. It's also true that the place where I woke up looked like a classroom. And it, all, and it is also true that it looked like some kind of educational institution. If you look at the layout of the other rooms and the shape of the co a girl, I could have said that. <laughs> if you if you do observe, if you would observe, there is classrooms and there is posters that says this is Hope's Peak Academy. So I think this might be Hope's Peak Academy. Thank you, God bless. The scale of the building is quite large, but if this but if this is Hope's Peak Academy, I'm quite convinced that it is. Thank you, Miss Torre. Although that was super freaking obvious. Uh, what is it? Then is it possible that the situation we are in right now is a school event? Hey, but then, isn't it a bit strange? If this is a school, why are there windows closed with freaking iron plates? There is even more than just this. There's a huge iron gate that looks like a bomb shelter. Whatever, wherever you look, this being Hopespeak Academy, I can't tell. It looks more like a prison. I, I guess that'd be kind of a weird, a weird. Okay, I can kind of see more of their suspicions than with the weird iron gate and stuff. Uh, huh, you little runt? Are you trying to rebuke my opinion? I do declare. How dare you? <laughs> what little runt? Ugh. Oh god, he's got like a short complex like, uh, like Edward from FMA. Ooh, what little runt? This damn bitch wants to die. Oh, he's got like a, he's got like a, not evil, but like a, a fiery side too, you know what I mean? I wanna die. I wanna die, then come kill me, little runt. Oh my god. You think I can't do it? Just because I'm three feet tall? I get you, Toshiro, you know? My chat makes fun of me all the time for being a short queen, so I get it. <laughs> yeah, I love how his hair is going like Super Saiyan. <laughs> oh my, is it a fight? There's nothing more fun than watching a fight. There was a saying for these kinds of proverbs, right? It said there are three major attractions. It, infidelity, fighting, and political discussions. I, I, don't know if that's, I don't know if that's right. 
You guys, even though I can't stop the fight, what are you doing encouraging it? Uh, now, try to calm it down. Let's let's be at peace. Zen, guys. Uh, shut up, pig! Oh, don't don't make fun of him just because he's a little chunky. Come on. Uh, uh, it hurts my delicate sensitivity. Ah, oh, bullies. Everyone, calm down. Calm. Well, to be honest, I don't know anymore. Uh, fight. <laughs> I'm gonna root for it too, yeah, let's spill some blood, slay! Fight, 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 who's on the winning side? Place your bets right now! We can't do this, this is a complete mess. This will be difficult to control, even for Misako. No matter how strong her leadership may- No matter how strong of a girl boss she might be. The moment when everyone's excitement and tension was raised to the extreme. That began abruptly. Uh, here we go, here we go. It's time! Uh -huh, mom. Um, my test! My test! School announcement! School announcement! Are you able to hear me? I felt uncomfortable with the heterogeneous. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, what? The, the hetero voice. Oh god, that voice, it was so straight. <laughs> wait, what is what does that mean? <laughs> hetero heterogeneous? The hetero the genius hetero. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Heterogeneous of denoting of or denoting a process involving substances in different phases. Solid, liquid, or gaseous. What? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I felt uncomfortable with the, the hetero voice as it forced as if forcing myself to act clumsy. A voice that made me question so many things. Why? Why is he so straight? Oh god, this is triggering me. Ahem! Whether you heard or not, it's probably fine! So, pay attention! Ah, uh, to the new students, please come to the gym! Right away! We shall hold the entrance ceremony! I don't need to say twice, right? Then come on! Did everybody hear that straight voice? What was that? Such a bizarre voice. That sent me shivers. Sh shiver- shivers! Oh, whatever. Hey, thick hair, where are you going? Noisy. <laughs> Noisy. It doesn't matter how I behave, does it? <laughs> I love doing that voice. <laughs> well, now, you see, this is Hope's Pig Academy. Get... <laughs> okay, she is Southern. Get some more milk, small runt. Is her... Is her... Is she in the country guy? They can be... They can be besties. It really is. This fight ain't over yet. I shall go to the gym as well. There doesn't seem to be any benefit having more discussion. Pfft. <laughs> Ugh, this mullet heaven guy. I wanna- I wanna go too. This place is no longer fun. There's a lot of, uh, well, I guess there's a lot of nice people too, but definitely a lot of more divisive, uh, personalities too. Is the entrance ceremony starting? I'm looking forward to it. Kinda will go too. Well then, hasta la vista, a star! Ladies, let's go. Let's go together. Aw, he's trying to be a ladies man. Poor guy, he's getting body shamed too. An atmosphere was being created to head to the gym at once, but an ominous feeling that I felt beyond that unpleasant voice just before was creeping up in my head. Kazuki, just now. Yukari, you too. It was a very eerie voice. I don't have a good feeling about this. I agree with that feeling. Even Masako. Such a broadcast in this kind of situation. I can't help but wonder. However, now I have no choice but to go. Staying here won't reveal much. Ah. Uh, um. That's right. All we know is this bizarre place is Hope Speak Academy. And that we are freshmen with very little information. What happened before this, I don't know. And waiting won't solve these questions. It's time to move. Let's go, Yukari. Yeah. Oh, now I want to talk to people more. Ah, oh, man. Oh, well. It's fine. Okay, it doesn't... I was kind of wondering if it would have, like, a face or something, honestly. With the first thing. Okay, cool. I do get to talk to people then. Hey, Kazuki. What kind of show was that just now? I don't even know. It was a very unpleasant voice. Ugh, I feel like I shouldn't go. Still, we can't help it right now. We have to go. Damn it! Damn you! Damn you, sli city slickers! Mr. Watanabe, I think I understand the situation roughly. 
Oh, I like this guy's, uh, I like his makeup. Serve. <laughs> don't say it, Weeby, don't say it. Serving. Serving. <laughs> he is serving. Do you remember something? Only the fact that they, that we were abducted and imprisoned. Oh my god! <laughs> Never mind! God, the Jesus. I thought I was about to say something, like, really uh, serious. It's like I keep forgetting that this guy's, like, a uh, alien conspiracy theory guy. He just, like, he has such a serious look to him that he's like, yes, I do remember being probed and imprisoned by aliens. I I'm pretty sure I remember. I'm pretty sure I remember being probed. It might have just been a dream, but, you know, you never know. Uh, uh, aliens? Uh, are you sure about that? I believe so. Um... I like him. He's goofy. Okay, let's talk to you. I liked you, dude. But why are you gonna body shame? Uh, literally, you're the one. Who, you're a short king. You're, you're the type of person to get body shamed all the time. And now, and now you're body shaming the, the little, the little composer guy. Not cool, man. Not cool. Ugh, how dare she make fun of me as a small runt? I'm tall, man. My mom says I'm very tall for my age. I'm still a growing boy. Uh, Dojiro, won't forgive. Won't forgive. Uh, I can feel the bloodlust emanating off of him. Seems like a bad time to talk. Okay. Oh, yeah, this guy. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Creepy. Don't be afraid, Pet Chan. I think everyone here is good people besides us. Uh, Mickey Hiko? Huh? Oh, it's, it's Kazuki. Oh, God, he, <laughs> he caught me whispering creepily to my doll. Mikihiko, let's leave Kazuki alone and go to the gym. Uh, okay. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna use the doll in like the trial too. They're gonna be like, uh, hey, Mickey, it kind of seemed like, ooh, Mickey, you're so. I'm gonna be thinking about that song every time I see him now too. Hey, Mickey, weren't you like right when, right, like a witness to the scene of the murder? It's like, no, I wasn't. But Pet Chan was. <laughs> oh, yes, it was I, Pet Chan, who was there. Yeah, Mickey Hiko, just like Pet Chan said, let's leave and go to the gym. I, I, I will. He's probably got some trauma <laughs> that makes that happen, but we'll see. I feel like I was bullied by a doll. Aren't you going to the gym, Akaru? Oh, aren't you going to the gym, Akaru? Oh, so you do see me. Oh, he didn't see her before because she's like a, cause she's a ninja, an erotic ninja, whatever that means. No, it's nothing. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, don't mind me. You go ahead. I can teleport. Uh, ninjas can do such thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, like, I have an alibi. Pet Chan can prove it. <laughs> I can totally see him doing that later. <laughs> oh, my God. I can totally see that. I think our first priority should be heading to the gym quickly. Okay. Um, I think I've talked to everybody except for Yukari. Kazuki, I have a feeling for some reason, a feeling deep, deep inside me. It's like, pff, oh, it's just gas. And never mind, let's go to the gym. Okay. Don't know if I know where the gym is. Oh, hey, we can talk to more people. My, Mr. Kazuki, we have a total of 16 people. S. It's Sulphur. Oh, she was the one who said that earlier, too. I was wondering who that was. I think so, too. Still hard to comprehend. I'll go to the science lab later to study, but I have no idea what she was saying. I am, I'm so bad at science, honestly. In the end, no one can follow the discerning view of Tore Akasubaka's architecture. She sure has a high self-esteem. Hey, you, what's wrong? Are you gonna refute my words too? Oh, oh no, I would never dream of it. Well then, well then, let's let's go to the gym. Oh God, she's scary. She's so southern and scary. Oh no, is there anybody else I can talk to around here? <laughs> Probably not. I guess they're all in the gym, right? Do, 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 do. Dang it, man. I was hoping I could talk to somebody else. Whatever. What was Maya's talent again? I think she was like the ultimate researcher. Or something like that. Like a scientific researcher. Oh, hey. It kind of looks like the elevator. Like the entrance to the uh, trial grounds almost. Is it here? Well, I guess uh, I, I guess it just kind of reminds me of like, the trial ground entrance. And uh... DRA. Is it here? When we arrived in front of the gym, we all stood 
We stood just there as if we had promised each other and no one opened the door. We were all, we were well aware, an incomprehensible phenomenon, a strange space presumed to be Hope Speak Academy, and even the announcement of a bizarre voice a while back. It's possible that everyone felt something strange looming. Hey, is this really okay? Guys, I only pick on Miko or Miki because he's my favorite so far. I love that he's a creepy <laughs> I love that he's a creepy little guy. You know when I pick on characters more, that means I love them more. <laughs> Honestly. Well, okay, besides Mitch. Oh god dang it. Now I just dug myself. I just dug myself into a grave. Besides Mitch, that's the only kid that's the only time it doesn't work. But otherwise, you know, like Kamida, Oma, Mickey, Kenjo, they're all the characters I love the most. I just like to pick on them. Even if you ask that question, he probably is the character I'm the most interested in, though. I'll probably do his free time events first if I can. We got no choice but to bump into it, right? Better than with withdrawing from things. Um you know, I'm wondering about that previous announcement. You think it's better being here all day? It seems like all the others went inside already. Um, yes, I realize that, but then I shall go in first. Guys, no, I said I don't. No, I said I don't love Mitch. Damn it. Ah, <laughs> oh, god dang it, I dug myself a grave. Me too. I, Toshiro Takahara, can't just stop here. I'll see you all at the gym. I, ho I hope there are aliens out there. I shall go with the others. <laughs> okay, a little weirdo. I like him too. He's weird. He's goofy. And the end, they're going in. Let's go inside as well. Ah, uh, seriously? I have a really bad premonition about this. Then you stay here. Uh, what? Uh, alone? I don't like that. That's how people die. Then it's decided. Ah, uh, look at her strutting in there. With that said, Misaka opened the gym door. Do you... There is nobody waiting for us here. Mai thinks this is the entrance ceremony. The number of chairs placed in front of the podium. Indeed, this is Hope Speak Academy. Ah, thank you, Bree. Right, totally, Weeby. We totally, we totally believe you. I'm just, you know, I don't even care that it's sarcasm, okay? I don't even care that it's sarcasm. You know, just, just guys, stop pulling me. I'm just gonna pretend that it's real. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys, for, thanks, guys, for believing me. Appreciate you. Appreciate y'all. I'm just, I'm not gonna detect the sarcasm in that. Thank you, Brie, for the donation. At the moment, when I was about to be relieved, seeing a more ordinary sight than I had imagined, it suddenly appeared before us. I wonder who it is. Ah, it's the Japanese voice, I think. Hello, everyone. Are you all together now? So, shall we begin? Oh, oh. I love doing Monokuma's voice. Oh, cool, they even have a scene for this, too. Nice. Man, this game honestly looks really good. I hate that it got canceled. Oh! Thank you, Wolfie. Stop. Hashtag stop bullying Weeby. That is so true. Thank you. Thank you for that hashtag. We Can we get that trending, guys? Can we get that trending on Twitter? A, a, a doll. Oh my god, it's a doll. It's so cute. Petchan, go say hi. It, you can make a new friend. I'm not a doll. Roar. It's Monokuma, the headmaster of this school. What in the world is this nonsense? Casually speaking in front of us, as if it were natural, Monokuma started to move at will. The ominous premonition I had was so incomprehensible that I couldn't understand by that I couldn't understand by common sense was suddenly turning into conviction. If you don't even know the name of the headmaster school you attend, where'd you even look it up? So is this one? Am I dreaming right now? What do you think that stuffed toy is talk? What do you think about that stuffed toy talking to us? That can't be the case. It's obvious this toy has a speaker inside. That's it. No, that's not it. I am not a doll. I am Monokuma. You can call me Headmaster Sama. Uh, ch uh, cha Cha Bear. Cha Cha Bear looks like an unidentified creature to me. Oh my god, I knew this guy was gonna say that. Oh my god. Oh, he's got the little star eyes, too. I like him. He's goofy, man. 
<laughs> O-M-G. Are you an alien? So you're an alien. Oh, just before my eyes, my dreams have come true. Hey, you like this kind of thing, you freak? And don't get overboard. Aliens are weirdos. This is just a simple toy. Our first meeting, aliens and toys. I was expecting a little bit of exposure, but it seems like listening directly is much more impacting, is much more impacting your mind. Shocking, shocking! Not you guys, not! You guys are terribly ill, so <laughs> why not just believe what people say? No, what the bear says! Huh, did it, did a mother overlap with a teddy bear character? <laughs> Wait, what? Girl, what are you implying? Uh, oh my god, did somebody bang a teddy bear? Holy, <laughs> holy crap, this is crazy. Um, oh, Cha Cha Bear is a TV show. Ah, that makes sense. What else? What do you want from me? I don't have time for jokes like this, so let's go ahead. This guy has a lot of tension going up and down. No more chatter! Shut up! All right, so then, welcome, everybody. Hello, uh, hello there. Oh, yes, Mr. Alien. Oh, I'm such a big fan. Such you want me to kill somebody? Because I will do that for you, bestie. You aren't supposed to say hello. Ahem! Can you freaking let me say my speech? Jesus Christ! Dude, the cast usually aren't this bad. Ahem, so from now on, we're going to hold a commemorative entrance ceremony. Um, I mean, the headmaster's speech. School chant, in other words, irrelevant things that are skipped over. I'll just get to the point and explain. Students with special talents like you are the treasure of this world. Which is hope! In order to protect such hope, from now on, you must live in a communal life and be with everyone in order. Communal life? And I shall answer the question of how long in advance? There's nothing like that! It's an indefinite communal living! If you live if you live here for the rest of your life, that's okay! You guys will love it here! This is the school given to you! Hey, what did you just say? A lifetime here? Oh, if you're worried about your daily necessities for food issues, you don't gotta worry. The budget is non-existent. We got McDonald's! Or no, we got bell peppers! Ah, oh, just like, just like the Redemption Rompa kids. Oh, you guys get unlimited bell peppers. Don't you worry. Oh, if you're worried about your daily necessities or food or issues, don't worry. Budget's non-existent. There's no problem feeding the 16 of you. I never wondered about that. Oh, she speaks in third person. I didn't. I just now noticed that. To live here for the rest of our, for the rest of my life, um, right? That's just a joke, right? It's not a lie. Hundred percent pure sincerity. The truth. I'll tell you in advance. This space is completely cut off from the outside world. So if you think about it differently, it will be a waste. You already know that. Oh. What? Wait, blocked? The iron plates in the hallways or the huge iron gate we saw earlier in the hall? Yep, it's one of those things that blocks the outside from here. Oh, of course, nobody is coming to save you, so you can stop worrying about the outside world. <laughs> oh my goodness, are you playing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I wonder if they can see him. Oh, you can see like the fish a little bit in the background. My boyfriend's playing with Peanut in the background. I don't know why, but he always wants attention. Like right at 1 p.m., he's like starts meowing at me. He's like, play with me, mom, play with me, give me pets. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, buddy, it's streaming time. And spend your life here. This is ridiculous. Don't make such scary jokes. What will happen to my crops if I spend my time here? Ah, oh, thank you so much, Bree, for the five uh, gifted memberships. Ah, oh, welcome to everybody who got the uh, memberships. Oh, someone unknown got one. Nice. You guys can also uh, join the Discord too whenever. Uh, well, it takes like a little while sometimes to integrate, but uh, there should be like a post on like my membership community thing that tells you how to become a member. But yeah, welcome guys. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the emotes too. You get a peanut emote, so that's exciting. Don't make scary jokes. What will happen to my crops if I spend my time here? Oh, I guess they're gonna freaking die. When, so then, when you hear something like this, did you get the same reaction every time? Denial, rage, distrust, oh, like that game, etc. But isn't it all meaningless? Because this is the truth without any lies. Why would you do such a futile thing? Stop it and send me home already. That's right! Come on! Send us home, you ugly doll! You guys are so strange! You came here to do good, right? Right? Why do you want to go back already? Well, if that's the case, it's not like there's no way back! 
and there is, oh yeah, here we go. Here we go, there are special rules in place. I wonder if they're gonna do the same, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the same uh, motive too that like Danganronpa another and Danganronpa one did. I could see that. There were special rules in place to see if there's unusual, an unusual kid who wants to get out of this maintained environment. That is graduation. Um, graduation? <laughs> Eyes walking, strutting my stuff. <laughs> I am serving and slang. Well, first, let's start with a brief explanation of graduation. You guys have to keep in order, keep the order, and live a communal life according to the rules. If there's a person who breaks the rules, that person can leave this place. That's graduation. Um, what does breaking the rules mean? Oh, oh, oh! I'm so glad you asked. Among the rules that humans have set to create a society since ancient times, there's the most basic rule, right? If you break it, you can get out. Slay! 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 She starts going out. Slay! 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 slay. So this little robot kind of like starts like malfunctioning. Slay! 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 Oh God! Sorry, I got a little caught up there. Bringing the no killing your own people. Put simply, the person who does murder can leave. Uh, murdering? I wonder if he's gonna talk about the trial though, because they didn't even do that in Danganronpa 1. Of course! Choose the method you like! Whether it be beaten to death, stabbed to death, because I feel like that encourages people to murder more often if they don't know about the whole trial part, you know what I mean? They're just like, oh, sweet, I can just kill somebody. It's like, well, that sucks. I don't really want to slay, but like, <laughs> whatever, let's go for it. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Of course, choose the method you like. Whether it be beaten to death, stabbed to death, you can cut them to death, strangle them, crush them, burn them, poison them, curse and kill to the best of your own ability. Yes, baby. How about it? Don't you think there are more choices and more exciting than the 31 flavors of an ice cream shop somewhere? <laughs> How dare you use ice cream's name in vain? What nonsense are you talking about? It's not nonsense! Anyways, the only person who kills someone... Yeah, anyways, only the person who kills someone can get out of here. Because that's the rule. Can you even comprehend what this means? Why do we have to kill each other? Slay count. <laughs> 69. Already. I feel bad for whoever's doing the slate count for this stream. I just said it like 20 times in a row. Chatter, 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 chatter. This is really noisy. If you don't like it, then you can just live here. If it's already explained, what's so hard to understand? Oh, jeez. I'll say it again from now on. This will be your home and your world. If you want to get out, just kill other people and that's it. So the question about it ends here, closing! I can't listen to you because this is so idiotic. This is just funny. Uh -huh. Um, funny? Oh god, she's gonna be the Mondo. Oh god, girl, don't do it. Janami walked between the absent-minded students and stood in front of Monokuma who looked down with disapproving eyes and said, How about we stop now, shall we? This isn't fun at all, girl. <laughs> she probably won't die, but I just feel like... <laughs> I don't know. It's like the scene you have to see in every Danganronpa fan game where one person's like, I'm not gonna let you do this, Monokuma. <laughs> it's like, oh man. I know how this is gonna end. What do you mean stop? I'm telling you to stop with a stupid joke. You funny looking stuffed animal. Didn't you understand? Oh, uh, who said this was a joke? And also funny looking stuffed animal. If she actually does die, I'm gonna think she's like the mastermind or something, honestly. I'm famous for being the most beautiful bear among bears. Ha! Look, the soft curved body! Black and white colors with clear contrast! Oh god, I'm so sexy! I'm always full of charm, aren't I? That's enough, you're not funny, you look boring. Uh, oh, she actually pushed him. Ah! Ow, that hurt! Hey, enough with a big reaction. Oh, a student that kicks the headmaster. This must be the collapse of the teaching authority, I say! But I am Akuma. Love, order, and respect the rules. I shall impose relentless physical punishment on students who violate the school rules. Help me out, rule keeper. Oh, is he like a mono beast or something, maybe? Uh-oh. Ooh, a cutscene. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the moment Monokuma shouts. Okay, yeah, it's kind of like Dr. Rumpel 1. I think that's how it was in Dr. Rumpel 1, too. They had like the, the guns in the cameras. The moment Monokuma shouts at one place in unison, to be precise, the surveillance cameras all turn their lenses towards Chinami. The bottom of the camera opened with a mechanical noise, and what appeared before them 
was a machine gun that emanated a vicious red light. Oh, wh what is that? Fire! Oh god, oh, surely she doesn't die though. Might as well fire in unison. All at once at Chinami. The Steel Teeth, a name for the fired bullets, attacked Asami, who was standing defenseless against an unexpected event, leaving only a sound to turn her into a beehive and... Oh! Tato. Oh, it's the country guy. What? No, Tato, I like you better. Don't get, don't become a beehive as, as our guy so eloquently put it. Watch out. Oh, shoot. Okay, cool. Okay, good. He saved her. I was like, I don't want the, I don't want the farmer guy to die. I like him. He's country. At the same time as Tato, who ran out with a dance, a chant, a, a dance, who ran out with a dance. Who was breakdancing as he ran out to save her? A chance to dry. Dragging Janami, who was standing Langley and tossing her at the same time. Next to the floor of the gym where she was standing. Literally punctured disastrously, disastrously with holes. Ugh! Kya! Huh? Is this real? <laughs> oh yes, his hair, just the orange part flipped up. He just went partial super sand. He's doing like the Kaioken right now. This must be a dream. <sighs> are you guys okay? Somehow. Hey, are, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. All, all good. I, I think I'm in love with you now. Oh, God. I'm glad. Um, you. The, oh, no. There's blood on your arm. Oh, no. Not the little guy. Ah, oh, crap. Did one graze me? Ah, oh, shoot. Someone bring some bandages. Anything's... Someone bring some bandages. Anything's good. If you need bandages, I'll find some in the infirmary. Hey, little runt, come along. Uh, don't call me little runt. Uh, damn you. <laughs> I don't think that's what's important now, bro. Blood. It's not paint. It's real, real Pepto-Bismol. Oh, my God. Streaming from his veins. Oh, God, it's disgusting. For the first time in my life, my legs were shaking at the shocking situation in front of me. I feel like this might kind of... I guess we'll see, but I could see this connecting to, like, the first murder case in a way. Like, bandages being found at the crime scene or something along those lines, you know what I mean? Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I could see that being, like, a thing. Uh, this is troublesome. This way I can't take care of the crops. Are you an idiot? Stupid! Is that important right now? Your life was almost blown away. You can't. Oh, it's okay, because I won't die. I'm glad you didn't get hurt, though. It was worth flying it. Hey. I oh, see. He's so nice. Are you laughing in this situation? Seriously? Ah, oh, well, what you saw was a kind of physical punishment. If there's a person who ignores the school rules, the rule keeper installed in the school... In other areas, we'll punish you without mercy, so keep that in mind! Rule Keeper? That's just a murder tool! Oh, to say our Rule Keeper is a murderer! Oh, God, I'm so sorry, Rule Keeper Chan, that you have to hear this disrespect! Don't be ridiculous, why are you doing this? That thing was about to kill one person. Well, if you don't break the rules, you'll do good. Or will you graduate here? Oh, maybe. Leave it to me. I could somehow deal with that teddy bear with ninjutsu. <laughs> hey, wouldn't it be better to follow Monokuma's words for now? If you don't, you're really gonna die. You just it, you just saw that, right? It, didn't you? And now I kind of zoned out for that part, so I'm just gonna try again. Uh, bah, oh! It seems you've made up your minds to keep under the rules. I don't care if you protect yourself because I have rule keeper. Wait, uh, oh, bah. With this, the entrance ceremony ends! So now, so-called ultimate students, shall I give you a gift for your admission as a celebration? With an eerie laugh, Monokuma offered something to us in a cold sweat. Oh, the monopad! Oh, yeah, or the e-handbook. The name... It, we're not that advanced yet, Weeby! I don't have the i... I don't have the iPad yet, okay? Stop rubbing it in! We got the e-handbook! Waterproof, shock resistance, etc. See, it's still good! They're durable! And with the company cool functions, a truly must have. You know, my deal with Apple fell through, so I couldn't do the monopad thing. I had to partner up with Android, whatever. It's still cool, though. Fuck off. I'll give one to everyone, so don't lose it, okay? You don't have to write your own name. Just by turning it on, the name of who owns it will appear automatically. You don't have to write your own name. 
Can I ask one thing? One thing? What? What's the purpose of doing something like this without any benefits? A purpose? Ah, oh, yes. A purpose! Despair! Despair! Without the secret, find out yourself! Finally, this concludes the entrance ceremony. I wish you all a happy living together. You're practically married now. A person nearly died. And what is the purpose? <laughs> and we have androids instead of iPads? Ugh, disgusting. It's like throws it on the ground. It's like, ugh, piece of shit. And what is the purpose we have to find ourselves? Before that, why do we have to be in this situation? Before even putting all those questions in my mouth, Monokuma then disappeared in front of us. No one could easily open their mouth. What happened right before my eyes felt unrealistic. And to be honest, it was in the category of something that should never have happened. I got the bandage. For now, let's move to the back. This spot is dangerous. Yeah. Oh yeah, poor, poor Tato. Somebody help him. I barely lived. If that machine gun fires again, I might be in trouble. Farmer-phobic machines, dude. You hate to see it. Um, Kazuki, this is... What in the world is going on? What did we do wrong? Yukari. I don't know anymore. Why, why are we like this? So, what are you crying about? God, it's so annoying. Huh? Can't you see? Can't you admit what just happened in front of your eyes? Ignorance, all of you. Mr. A Asayoru, isn't that too harsh? Yeah, that's right. Yukari is now... Denial doesn't change reality. If she's shaking like that, she might be the first to die or the first to slay. You never know. Asayoru's tone, which seemed to rattle the others, made them more angry. Stop it. Don't you know what's going on right now? You are no exception. <laughs> well, of course I know, but like, I don't care, man. But what's wrong with that? <laughs> what? I want to die. If you don't want to die, you just have to follow the rules. More than anything else, it's a loss if you don't enjoy this interesting situation. Don't you think so? God, this guy's just like Lyle, man. <laughs> just like Lyle for real. With the like, oh, I get to solve the puzzle of the death game, yas. An interesting situation. Hey, you, you haven't said a word during all this, but that's all you gotta say after this? Isn't that so? I was so thrown from the boring and tedious daily living to this non-existent routine. It would be weird to not consider it interesting. Oh, Lena! Oh my god! The gay Teletubby cult leader. <laughs> I'm so happy you've been enjoying catching up on uh, the SDRA2 streams. But yay! Thanks for giving the uh, five gifted memberships and congratulations to everybody who got that. You guys uh, can use the emotes, and you can also join the Discord if you want. You get um, forever access to the Discord, too, even if you uh, don't keep your membership. But welcome, guys! Oh, that's so nice! I appreciate you. I was like, oh, I always enjoy it when more people get membership stuff. Isn't that so? I was thrown from the boring and tedious daily living to this non-routine. It would be weird to not co consider it interesting. Are you really? Leave it until he there. Leave it until there. When we start fighting, it'll be the end. Don't let that guy do what he wants. And Mr. Shozo, please refrain from remarks that unnecessar unnecessarily provoke others. As long as you don't touch me unnecessarily, you don't need to worry. I'm aware. He does seem like the antagonistic character for sure. I don't know, I kind of thought at first he was going to be a red herring. Just because, like, I feel like his design is so similar to Nagito, you know what I mean? But... He does seem important so far, but I guess we could get, like, a twist antagonist later or something. Like, um, kind of, well, I guess I should say what other games do that. Hee <laughs> hee. But I could see that, like, this guy's a red herring and then one of the other characters ends up being the antagonist instead. We'll see. <laughs> and now I'm getting bullied. It's alright. It's okay now. Those girls seem so sweet. Uh-huh. We'll be fine, obviously. If we work together, we can overcome anything. Um, it, yeah. As I watched Yukari calming down little by little, I vaguely thought, would it be okay if things stay like this? Right now, everyone was surprised by the unexpected situation. As Masako said, I wanted to believe that if we all work together, we can overcome any difficult situation. Masako is right. If we work together, we will definitely be able to get out from this bizarre place. 
I'll help as much as I can. <laughs> Kazuki! Da -da. Oh, it looks so good! Oh, I like the art so much. Da -da. I love this guy too, man. He was one of my other favorites, the little chubby composer guy. He's so cute. His voice is fun to do too. I never really get to do that. <laughs> I never really get to do that voice. But watching Yukari with Nasaka, I repeated it over and over again in my mind. It will be fine. <laughs> Everything is gonna- Yes, that's so true. Enter the Delulu. Take the Delulu pills. It it's gonna be fine. If we work together, we, we can get through this. Let's all survive and escape from this place. At least, that's what I believed. However, we didn't know enough. The ordeals we would face in the future. The fact that not everything would go well. The school we entered with high expectations. Each of us with ultimate talents was not a school of hope, but our school of despair. Who's y'all's favorite character so far? I'm kind of curious. I like the composer guy and then uh, the puppet guy. <laughs> I think they're my favorites so far. I was like, I only make fun of the puppet guy just because, I don't know, he's kind of meme -y. I just don't feel like there's so many like creepy little things you can do with this character, you know what I mean? To be continued. Okay, I guess maybe we can play into like the first motive or something. The prologue wasn't too long. It was only like, um, it was only like an hour and 40 minutes. So, oh yeah, so the Discord access thing, sometimes it takes a few minutes to work, but um, it should, oh. Oh, what the? I saved, right? What the? Oh, maybe I just have to start. Okay, I'll probably just start here, right? Okay. Ah, eh, whatever. <laughs> we'll just start here then. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, um, so it takes, yeah I know there's no buff character. I was thinking that too, cause like the alien guy, he kinda gives me like Gonta vibes a little bit, just cause he's so like out of it and like, uh, kinda like wholesome. But yeah, there's no buff character. I was thinking that too, I was like, he gives me chapter four like victim vibes, but he's also not buff. As he's tall, man look at those legs dude. That's like some Tagami legs right there, holy crap dude. He might be giving Tagami a run for his money actually. Maybe he has like the skirt hiked up <laughs> like a lot and that's why. But uh, yeah, sometimes uh, it takes a little while for the Discord and the, uh, what I was saying to uh, one of the people who was asking. It takes a little while for the Discord and the thing to like go through, but it should pop up as long, like on your Discord account, um, as long as you have your YouTube like attached to it. It's a little weird, but I have instructions in the community tab. And thank you Kyoko for the uh, donation as well. Appreciate you. Trapped. A person nearly died before my eyes. The individual who did all these things was unknown, an unknown doll who called himself Monokuma. There is one condition to escape that he threw at us. Only those who kill can get out of this place. A condition that is so insane. A situation that's so incom incomprehensible by common sense. It'll be fine. It, it'll be fine if we work together. We can overcome this. Everything will be great. Nothing bad will happen ever. Does it normally take two months? Is it taking two months for you? Um, let me, uh, do you have like a Twitter or something you could message me on? Uh, I could try to help out, because it usually only takes like an hour or something was what I meant. But it should work. Huh, weird. It's a little weird. I'll, uh, I'll try to help you after the stream. I decided to leave it at that. I was confident we could do it. But in a corner of my mind that I didn't notice, this thought may have been too naive before I realized. Will we, will we really be okay? As such, in, infin infinite, infinitely, infinite, infinitely close to frustration and despair. Where are these negative feelings endless? Da -da -da. Got that song stuck in my head now for some reason. Chapter one, ensemble of hope and despair. Ensemble. I'm like, what is that used in? Mostly like, um, like mostly like theater or something. A series of events beyond common sense. I'm trying to think if it's like hinting at who's gonna die. <laughs> it wasn't someone, someone's comforting words or frightened words that broke the silence in the gym before the shock passed away. Hey, where, where are you going by yourself? Ugh. I don't know where you're going, but wouldn't it be better not to act alone at least? Why? 
because you just saw that machine. If you're unlucky, you might get shot while walking around. It's like, as long as you don't break the rules, though. Oh, you're so fucking stupid. You're not listening to the rules. No, what are you trying to say? Uh, it's nothing special. I was just wondering if we could go somewhere safely with everyone. <laughs> Two's better. Oh, he's so nice. Two's better than one, right? Uh, there's, there's no need. Ah, come on, don't be harsh. I'm kind of giving this guy the Mikado voice all of a sudden. If you, if you don't accept a single favor, what if nobody will accept you then? <laughs> don't do that. Come on, let's go. Oh! <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> Get away! At the moment, Shozo struck Toshiro's outstretched hand. Uh, what are you doing? I said I, I said I don't need it. You're rather pushy and fitting my private space. I don't... I'd like to apologize if I offended you, but don't you think there's a problem with a free, refusing other people's help with such an ad- I'm just trying to be nice, bro! Don't make me go Super Saiyan on you! Don't try to help in the first place! Besides, how am I supposed to trust you and accept your help so eagerly? What do you mean? <laughs> it's simple, really. Because I might get stabbed and lose my life if I little, went along with you. Yeah, that, that's true. I don't know if really going in a pair of two is very good. Who can assure me you won't kill me? I mean, besides the fact that you're like four feet tall, I mean, <laughs> I would love to see you try, nerd. Uh, what? Are you saying I'm a murderer? Uh-oh, uh somebody else coming in. If you get rattled so easily, it might happen sooner than later. What is, what is this bastard see people as? Hey, small runt. Oh god, he's gonna get pissed off again. What are you getting your- What are you doing getting yourself mad and running off to? Let go. If I don't shave off that guy's face, I won't let it go. Shave off the skin of his face. You struggle being caught up by a woman like that, infant. <laughs> infant? Uh, oh no, you didn't. Don't care about my own problems anymore. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a little- Come on, you're- You're a little guy. That's, what I, that's like literally what I always call peanuts. <laughs> it's just so funny. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Toshiro. But you are, in fact, just the little guy. I'm so sorry to be the one to inform you. But you are a little guy. <laughs> How long can hold me? It let go! Uh, I want to see him compared to the other characters. I gotta look at the, uh... Whatchamacallit? Like, the, the pictures of the whole group together and see how tall he is in comparison. <laughs> Stay still already, smash like a two foot. Let me, let me go. Stop bullying me. <laughs> Maybe I should give him more high pitched voice, actually. Like a Kokichi voice. Let me go already. Nah, I don't know. I think I kind of like the Ryuji one. Let me go already. Shozo leaves the gym while looking at Toshiro. Except for Toshiro, who was furious as and Tore, who was holding him down. We had no choice but to watch the quarrel between Shozo and him. Ugh. Ugh. Tori, I'm calm. Let me go. Are you sure? Can't you tell? I don't have the energy to hit. All right. <laughs> I love this kid. I don't have the energy to hit. Put it up. Fucking charge off. I knew it. Come here, you little runt. Come on, let me get him. Let me get him. I can still murder his ass. Damn it, if I go now, I can still catch up. <laughs> I love him. I can, I, hey, can that farmer guy hand me a lasso? I can try to lasso this guy. What are you guys doing? Sigh. I'm kind of bleeding out over here still. Um, everybody pay attention now. When Misako, who, had, who has shown her most outstanding leadership so far, spoke with her applause, everyone else's eyes naturally turned to her. I understand the frantic and bewildering feeling, but there is something else we need to do first. What do we need to do? Checking the rules, because it's a lesson to learn about it in the electronic school handbook. I'm not really in the mood to check that out right now. No, it's essentially important to check the rules, because it's directly connected to our lives. You just saw the result of that, didn't you? The shredded consequence? Misako's fingertips pointed at the machine, still sticking out of the ceiling. As he said, if you break the rules, it'll respond without question. Mai has the same idea. Let's check our rules first. Um, all right then. Yusaku. Okay, yeah, this is, I love this guy. Yusaku. Um, 
The others took out the e-handbook and started to listen to the explanation. I followed them and checked the e-handbook. Kazuki Watanabe, you sussy baka. Oh, cool. Oh, it's so nice. I can actually, like, uh... Oh, gosh, I've been so used to watching, uh... <laughs> Danganronpa stuff that I'm like, oh, I can actually play! I can interact! Oh my god, this is so crazy! The students only live within this school. There's no deadline for this communal life. <laughs> From 10 to 7, it's nighttime. Please note that there are areas with no access during nighttime hours. Okay, interesting. Sleeping is only available in the private rooms. Located in the dormitory area, deliberate sleep in other rooms is prohibited. Was that a rule in Danganronpa 1? I'm pretty sure that sounds familiar, but, you know. You can investigate Hopespeak Academy to your own volition. There's no restrictions for this behavior. Violence against Monokuma, the headmaster of the school, is pro oh, is prohibited. You must not damage any objects in the school, including the surveillance cameras. A person who killed someone must not let the other students know that they are the black end. In addition, the rules may increase sequentially. Okay. Sounds about right. Uh, can I see the student profiles? I don't think- Come on! Let me look at it! Come on! Come on! That's not let me click it. Lame. Whatever. I don't understand some of these. In the case of Rule 7, it's cunning to say the least. Because of this, there could exist cases where the rules may increase if we offend one who plotted this. Yeah. They could increase more? The number of rules is 7, so then... <laughs> Only nitrogen. Hmm. This must mean something. I don't, I don't think it means anything. I don't know how much it can increase. So I can see it's an undecided coefficient. Hum, hum, how do I label this with my quirky little personality? That's not what matters now. That's true about rule seven. Isn't it a little weird? Huh? You shouldn't tell the other students that you are the black end. Doesn't this mean they shouldn't be caught? Oh, he didn't say, oh uh, yeah, he didn't say anything about a trial, did he? I kind of like, I, I'm trying to think. It's like, he didn't, right? I think, yeah, he just said, like, don't get caught, and that was basically it. I don't think he said anything about a trial, though. He was just like, yep, you gotta kill! Oh, interesting. Oh, you sussy baka, Monokuma. You sussy, sussy baka. Oh, wait, what's there? No rule six? I don't even, uh, I don't even do that. Even notice that. Wouldn't it be bad to dig into the rules for a murder? I agree with Yosaku. It doesn't make sense to familiarize yourself with explanations about murder. Because there's no way any of us are bad enough to kill, right? We're all so nice and perfect and wonderful. Everybody nodded to Sina's words. No matter the situation, there's no way for others to kill people. To be honest, I don't want to believe it. But what about Shozo? He's not here right now, and he's definitely a weirdo. You can ignore that greasy, thick hair head. If you do, you will only cloud the mood. No, you actually skipped over rule six and called it seven. Oh, <laughs> my bad. I, I suppose so. When I heard him, I w it was just filling my ears with wax. No matter the excuse, they became our classmate. Wouldn't it be safe for someone to tell them to check the rules? That's right, no matter how much we argue, we shouldn't let him die. And no matter how much of a little douche he is, we shouldn't let him die. Kazuki, why don't- <laughs> Why do I have to do it? Why don't you find Shozo and deliver the information? <laughs> but I don't wanna. I feel like you'll be fine, if it's you. <laughs> because you know you got the luck on your side. Yeah, she just had normal eyes too. I was like, kinda wanna double check. Of course it could be dangerous to go on your own, so I'd like someone to go with him. Oh, then I'll go with you! If that's the case, I can go with you. It's easy to talk to him when I'm there. True, then I'll ask you. Cut off the ninja. Um, hey, is there anything we can help with? From now on, I want you to investigate the school. By all means, be with more than two people working together. Ta Tato, can you move? I I'm okay, I'm still burned, I'm still bleeding out. I'm getting kind of lightheaded. I'm starting to, <laughs> I'm starting to see stars, but you know, it it's okay, it's just a mere flesh wound, no, no biggie. My arm's still burning, but it's a lot better than before. I, I don't even need treatment no more. I'll go with you. I, I support, I, I can do that for you. I feel like they're a ship. Can I help you too? N no need, I can do it alone. <laughs> this is the perfect time to flirt with him. <laughs> As he's bleeding out. But where should we gather? Do we have to reunite here again? 
no, it's a bit far from here, but looking at the pamphlet, there seems to be a place called Diner. There's also chairs, and it looks pretty spacious. Let's gather there. Okay! If you guys find Shozo, go there, okay? Yeah. Got it! Okay, cool. After our instructions were finished, our friends scattered for their own investigation. We followed in succession and left the gym. I set out to find Shozo, who disappeared somewhere. That's the emo guy, right? Emo boy. Oh yeah, Zeph, I wanted to ask. Does it just, um, is there only just like save areas? Like you can't save on your own? It kind of seems like that's the case. I guess I could double check once I uh, have free reign again, but uh, it kind of seems like, yeah, you just have to wait till you hit like a save point almost. Um, There was a heavy silence between us. Yukari was looking for Shoza without saying a word, and neither was I. I. I wanted to say something, but what am I supposed to say to a girl with a depressed face like that? I shared the convenient option of just keeping quiet and looking for them as I was, but I shook my head to shove my thoughts away. Even if I treat this as a guy who doesn't understand the mood, I might as well talk to her. Hey, <laughs> so how are you in middle school, Yukari? <laughs> I'm kind of worried about, you know, our impending death right now, but whatever. Let's try small talk, sure. <sighs> you know, I mean, um, how, how, how are you doing? How is, how is school? How, how, is, how is the things? The things like that. <laughs> what are you talking about? In response to my words, Yukari's head lowered further. Did I just step on a landmine? Was she, like, bullied a lot or something? Kazuki is very gentle. Eh, God, the word has traumatized me. Kazuki, you thought it was sad, so you deliberately tried to pay attention to me, right? I don't know, man. She gives me killer vibes. That weird sprite she was doing. Now she's all like, I was just goofing on you, little guy. I was just goofing. Just being a little quirky, quirky girl. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see, but who knows? Who knows? That's pretty much the same coding as SDRA2, so you'll be able to save when not in conversation. Ah, okay, cool. Awesome, thanks. That wasn't necessarily the case. Be more honest. Come on. Okay, I wish. I wish. <laughs> She's pushing his face again. Benching my cheeks at a time like this. It caught me by surprise. How did you know that I was worried? Because <laughs> I'm... Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. Not y'all talking to Not y'all saying happy It's not my birthday. It's not my birthday. Thanks, guys. Thank you for your happy birthday. But, uh, yeah. God dang it. This. Say Aka. Kenny girl. <laughs> I don't know. Now I feel like she's not going to be a killer because it's too obvious. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? I'm singing. Do you know about psychics? <laughs> Deja vu. It's also called Esper. No, I know about... Uh, uh. Well, I guess she could be first victim too. Like, I guess Siaka. Always just kind of think about the fact that Siaka had intent to kill. Leon was, you know, the first killer, but Siaka had the intent to kill. Or whatever, but I guess she could be the first victim like Sayaka, or she could be the first killer. I don't know. Uh, she just, ah, uh, she's so freaking suspicious, but she's almost too suspicious. You know what I mean? Now I know about it. Eh, eh. uh, of course it was a joke. Why are you so surprised? What I mean was, I was just reading the mood well. Thanks to that sixth sense, I got the title of Ultimate Love Counselor. Was she really just quick witted? I mean, bro, you were like stuttering, being like, hey, hey, girl, like sweating, <laughs> like sweating, like, hey, hey, girl, it's, how is, how is life in a, oh, God, I'm sorry, I just can't stop sweating. How was, how was life in, in middle school? It's like, hey, you kind of seem nervous. Oh, my God, how'd you know that guy? You're so smart and beautiful and amazing. Guess how my days in middle school, they were complete, plain, and ordinary. The change was that I love to give consultation to others. See, I used to do consultations in, on internet blogs. I think it started as a rumor, and maybe that's why I'm here? Oh, that's it? That's it. Let's leave it for today. Okay. If you want to know more about me, ask me another time. 
Yeah, I will. Okay. You can do free time events. It was a short but very enjoyable conversation. It was an ordinary and playful chat. Yukari's lively appearance makes you feel pleasant. Do, 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 do. When do I get your underwear? <laughs> Wait, what now? Should we look around here? Okay. There is something written over here. Oh, yeah. I was looking at that earlier, too. Despair Hotel! Hotel? Does the school have a hotel? Love Hotel. Although the name, although the name is suspicious, we should check. Maybe Shozo went here. Yeah. To the Love Hotel. <laughs> oh, maybe it's just the dorm area now that I think about it. Oh, man. It's hard to move my chair on this carpet that I have in my room. Ah, I need one of those little roller things. Okay. Oh, well, she gonna die. By the way, I love you, Kari. So cute. Yeah, she's given major death flags. I don't know, man. It's almost like too obvious at this point, though. You know what I mean? But we'll see. We'll see. Thank you for the donation, Fallen Redditor. Oh, uh, what's this? I can see the diner and also a bathhouse. Oh, okay, so it's just the dorms. Once we find Shozo, we were all going to gather at the diner, right? That's right. Okay, let's find him together. Do you? To progress with the story, just go directly to the right. If you want to search additional areas, you can check the diner and the bathhouse. Okay. I don't know if there's really... Well, I guess I can check the bathhouse, maybe? I don't know if there's a huge... Oh, hey, I can talk to people. That's cool. I guess now I can save, maybe? Okay, cool, yeah. So, I can save here. Neat. Neat. Okay, let's talk to... What's her face? Weren't you supposed to be helping the... You know, farmer guy? Hey, Chinami. Oh, Chinami. Hello there, Yukari and... <laughs> oh my god. Who are you? I... Oh my god. I told you you had to remind me of your, you know, pathetic existence when you get the chance. Huh? Kazuki Watanabe. Oh, this is troublesome. I'm already starting to forget the rest of the ordinary. I guess Yukari's not in the ordinary. She's pretty, you know. <laughs> Chinami, don't make fun of Kazuki too much. He might be plain and simple and a loser and totally un unidentifiable and not unique whatsoever, but he's my friend, damn it. I love Maida so much. My name's... Um, wait, what was my name again? Uh, my name's Watanabe. Oh, yeah. No, really, I can't get used to that name. Get that name in my head. What's wrong, anyways? About Shozo, about the investigation. Let's do Shozo. Hey, have you seen Shozo? Um, thick hair. I haven't seen him. Understood. Kazuki, I don't think Shozo would come to the bathhouse. It seems so. <laughs> Can I ask her about the other thing? Investigation. Did you find anything? I've been looking around, and I think what's in front of us is a bathhouse. Just in case, you'll die if you pick into the woman's bath later. Oh, I will. <laughs> and have you seen people bathing, Kazuki? Uh, of course I haven't. Uh. <laughs> the girl's bath is not important. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Follow the man's nut. I can't go into the men's dressing room with Yukari. Do, 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 do. Watanabe, more like wannabe. Uh, got him. Got him! Oh, hey, it's this guy. This guy kind of gave, this guy kind of gave, like, uh, whatchamacallit, rival vibes, too, a little bit. Hey, how are you doing, Ryo? Oh, hey, how are you doing, Ryo? How am I doing? Um, I mean, about Shozo. Have you seen Shozo? <laughs> oh. Even if I saw him, what benefit is there for me to let you know? Um, there's none? Good, then. Kazuki, Shozo didn't come to the diner. Can you stop just avoiding? We obviously know he went to his room. It seems so. Oh, god damn it. I didn't mean to click on that again. Man, ah! Hajime Kitty. Oh, gosh. About the investigation. Did you find anything? Even if I found something, what benefit is there for me to let you know? It's just the same thing for the investigation, too. Don't do that. We need to help each other. I I'm not even gonna waste new dialogue on you, lame. You were the ultimate love counselor, weren't you? Um, that's right, you remembered. Um, there's nothing here yet, and we'll talk in detail once everyone gets here. Okay, so she's cool enough to tell her a little investigation, too. But I'm not. Man, everybody hates me so far. Um, I see. All right, then. Why, I feel like I'm being ignored. Maybe it's just the mood? The other girl did that, too, dude. 
Sorry, you guys are gonna be, y'all are gonna hella regret it when you find out that I'm the ultimate bullshit luck. And I can murder you all just with a quick stare. I can sick Nagito Kamida on you and he can eat you alive from the inside. Hello, Tor oh hello Tore. Oh, you were Kazuki, was it? Oh my god, somebody finally remembered me. <laughs> like, oh, hey Yukari and no one else there. Yukari is here too, what's up? Oh, Yukari is here too, what's up? Ask about Shozo. Nothing much, I guess. You didn't see Shozo? Oh, nothing much, I guess. You didn't see Shozo here? In here? Well, I just came here a little while ago, actually. Oh. Oh, I see. By the way, why do you guys care about such a selfish bastard? Oh. Honestly, even if we're in the wrong, he's only thinking for himself. I kind of just got it. just kind of got the... Job pushed on me, honestly. <laughs> Kamida, I choose you. I was kind of thinking about it that way. Just like six them on him like a Pokemon. <laughs> Look at my collection of ultimate lucky students that I've collected. I got Yuki. I got Kamida. I got Nagi. Nagi's not too much benefit, but you know. Terrain, no matter what, you shouldn't think that way. It may be an overstatement, but he honestly looks like a second victim. <laughs> A second victim. <laughs> I'm calling it right now. Me me and the other farm were placing bets on the first victim, which is you, Yukari, you little psychic M Esper girl. And now I got second victim on Shozo. Sooner or later, a fellow like that will self-destruct one day. Um, uh, Y'all want to place bets too? I didn't see him anywhere. That's the end of this topic. It will take a considerable amount of time for Tore and Shozo to get along. Okay. Investigation. Did you find anything? Uh, well, well, all you know that there's a lot of food, right? Thanks to it, we won't starve to death. But where... Where's the bell peppers? There's nothing on that table. Where... Where are they? I need them. I need the bell peppers. What are we gonna do? I see. What'd you guys find? Well, we're looking for Shozo. We aren't really searching in detail for anything else. Yeah, well, do your best. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, are, are they here? It's too... No, those are tomatoes! Damn you, tomatoes! I fucking hate you! No! <laughs> no, where's the bell peppers? Where's the bell peppers? Damn it. Oh, God, there's just potatoes and tomatoes and corn. I think that's fish. Disgusting. I don't want a well-balanced diet. I want bell peppers. All these boxes over here better be bell peppers. They be that better be bell pepper pie over there, too. I am so pissed off. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. What is this awful place? What is this terrible place? Okay. <laughs> and I'm over it. It's an ordinary magazine. It's got Junko on the cover. Well, looks like we're just gonna starve to death since there's no bell peppers. Those are... Looking at the numbers, it's us. Several doors in the hallways were extending it inwards. Each door had a character that looked like a dot image of the 16 of us. Are these the private rooms? I believe so. Otherwise, there's no reason to put faces on it. Private rooms, as specified in rule number three. If we have to sleep, we'll sleep here. Doo -doo -doo. There, Kazuki, I found my private room. Can I take a look around it for a minute? Even if we don't like it, we'll need to stay here in the future. Do you think there's... Do you think there's... Do you think there's any traps inside? A uh, uh, trap! How dare you! A uh, trap! You can't make such rem rude remarks like that! It, oh my god, it came out of nowhere! What can I possibly accomplish by putting traps where you're supposed to sleep? After all, the private room is a private space. So whatever you do in here, it's okay. But I'll be watching. <laughs> Oh, oh. Why are you laughing like that? Oh, oh. With that being said, it, you can set traps. Hey, now, it's not fun to break the rules and just do whatever you want in here, okay? Well, there's a chance you might break things by mistake, so I'll consider items inside as personal things. Then it won't be a school violation, so break with confidence. Slay, slay those faces and stuff. Who's going to start breaking? After all, we'll be the ones who clean it up. Oh, and you better take the shower before night. Because the water runs dry during those hours. Okay, is that going to be important, maybe? 
and basically only the owner of the room can enter each private room at will. If you want to enter someone else's room, get permission from the owner first. If you don't, bang! Okay, that's probably gonna be important too. I feel like I could see, um... Oh, you can check the student profile soon. Noise. Um, I feel like I could see the murder happening in a room if it, like, decides to mirror the chapter one and Danganronpa one. We'll see. There will be no such thing as a trap! Go! So go in and rest your mind with ease. Well then, bye! Bye! And what a ruthless bear, Humph. I think he just acts very wildly. But since there has been that confirmation, it seems we can make sure there's no trap. Okay, shall we look around for a bit and come out? Take a look at my room. Ah, <laughs> I like the little uh, little thing that came on the side of the screen. That's cute. Okay, what can I investigate? Okay, basically everything. I like that little uh, I like this uh, thing that I can do. Oh wow, I can actually go in the shower. That's a nice shower, dude. It's a shower. Apparently, Monokuma said that the water doesn't come out in the middle of the night. Do, 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 do. It's a toilet commonly found in houses. Do, 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 do. Oh, the bed is so soft and it's surprisingly useful. Ah, uh, look at me. I'm all cozy. Oh, I look so cozy and cute in there. Aw. Who's also a little guy? It's an ordinary storage cabinet. I don't see anything else inside. It's an ordinary storage cabinet. How do I click on the camera? Can I click on the camera? An ordinary trash can. Ordinary, ordinary. Pot with various plants. It's a table. It's a bed. It's a TV. It's the same TV for the school broadcasting. Having to see his face even in the private room. Huh? What's... <gasps> yes! Monocoins! Yes! Excellent! Oh, yeah! Ah! <laughs> Whoa, again? Jesus Christ! Another monocoma jump scare? Can you stop doing that? Do you wonder why you just obtained Kazuki Hall? Oh. The golden Monokuma! You got the golden ticket! You can go to my chocolate factory or some shit! If that's the case, your kind teacher Monokuma shall let you know! Kuma! Kuma! It's the same as the Monokuma coin! You can think of it as a currency! You will need in Hope Speak Academy! Oh, and of course, you can't buy anything with it! There's a separate place to use it! Oh, oh. Monokuma coins can only be used in the drawing machine located in the first floor of the school! There's no other place to use these! Okay. How about it? Wondering what will come out? Is it your heart pounding already? <laughs> no, not really. It's like, uh, I'm so happy we need the mono machine again. It's been so long. Uh, I love doing, I love exploring the school and stuff. I feel like you kind of forget about these aspects when you like get so used to watching like the video series and stuff. Anyways, once you try it, you will know the taste of it. So whenever you have free time, go ahead and try it. I'll keep the coins hidden so you can have a fun treasure hunting. Well then, have a good time. Bye. Uh, what you mean? What do you mean, good time, you damned bear? Still, I have to check this out later when I have the time. But only because it needs investigation. It's not because I like it or anything, Baka. Oh wait, let me move my chair more centered. There we go. It's gonna bother me otherwise. Okay, was there anything else in here? I think we're probably good, right? I still don't know how to look at this stupid camera though. Ordinary store. Nope. <laughs> Whatever. Oh yeah, actually, can I look at? E handbook. Dee, 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 dee. No! Oh wait. Ah oh, yeah, there we go, there we go. Okay, flip page is just after the free time events. Okay, how do I start at the beginning? Okay, cool. Ultimate lucky student! Height, 70 centimeters. 187 centimeters tall. Archly archery arch archly? <laughs> archery club member. And ultimate violinist. 177. Ult ultimate cubing. <laughs> I love his talent, dude. There's not a description yet. I guess they are pretty, uh, pretty, uh, new. Like, we just met them. 150 centimeters. How, how tall is that in feet? Let me look it up. Two feet. He's probably still... Oh, I, he's four foot eleven! Yes, he's shorter than me! Yes, let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Yes, slay, 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 slay! Uh, he's short. <laughs> What's up, infant? What's up, small fry? <laughs> What's up, small stuff? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Finally, Finally, someone shorter than me. Slay! Slay! 
<laughs> oh, yes, it feels good. It feels so fucking good. Oh, gosh. Hey, I might, I might be taller than her, too. Actually, it might be the same height. <laughs> yes, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, I mean, I'm six feet tall, so I'm taller than all of these characters. Actually, seven feet tall. Sorry, I kind of forgot for a second, you know. <laughs> Just forgot for a second, but I'm actually seven feet tall, so it's whatever. I know you guys can't understand what it's like being tall. Actually, you know, I'm kind of surprised by how many people say that I give, like, tall energy. Oh, hey, it has, like, a, I guess when we're traveling with somebody, it has, like, that person in there, too. That's interesting. De -de 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 -de. This is already my favorite fan gan. <laughs> Just because somebody's freaking shorter than me. Yes. <laughs> stop making fun of Weeby. Stop making fun of him for being short. Also, Weeby. <laughs> short. I'm taller than you, baby infant. Man short loser. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to look more? Let's look at. How the hell am I supposed to look at the camera, dude? I don't know how to do it. Oh, wait. Actually, can I do it with this, maybe? Is this it? What is a private room? We're also covered iron plates. Okay, now we're good. I think I've searched enough. I guess we can leave now. Also kind of funny, funny, just like berating him for being short when I'm like one inch taller. Ah, Kazuki, did you check everything? Yeah, the interior is way better than I expected. There wasn't a lot of furniture in the room, but there seemed no problems. There seemed to be no problems staying in it. I kind of wonder if there is going to be themed like uh, Danganronpa and other two. Now that, now that we've looked a lot, uh, now that we've looked at our rooms, we need to find Shozo. Why don't we make sure if Shozo is in his room? It's possible, let's check. He hates us all, so he probably isn't there. Shozo, you in your room? You're not gonna answer? <laughs> Get lost, losers! Just hear like Lincoln Park blaring from inside his room. There's no response to my question, is he not inside? Kazuki, please move. Oh, 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 she's about to break down the door. Yes. Slay that door. If I say slay that door, she can't get confused, right? Because she knows, she knows specifically I'm saying to the door, right? Right? Shozo, you're inside, right? Open the door. <laughs> yes, annoy him to death. Shozo! Shozo! I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna sing Megan Trainer if you don't come out any moment now. No, not on emo music. Stop it. You can't do this to me. Dear future husband, here's a few. Okay, fine. I'll open the door. What are you doing? What do you mean? I'm singing Shozo's name. Even so, that's still a bit to call someone like that in the middle of the day. <laughs> He's like, fine. Oh, ah! Oh, it's like the Toko Sprite. What the hell are you guys doing? There was a clear anger in Shozo's face. Shozo's face, who was visible through the slightly open door. It was quite upsetting. We came to pick you up. Everyone seems to be gathering at the diner. Let's go together. Everyone is currently... Everyone, everyone's currently investigating, and then we'll gather. Maybe someone found a hint to escape? See? Come on! Did you want to be fine with us, damn it? <laughs> No need. When did I ever ask you to care for me? Oh, go away. Please don't do that. Even if you don't like the idea, we have to see each other for a while. I think it's better for everyone to get close. Leave now. And don't you ever sing Megan Trader in front of me again. Eek. Or you'll be the first to go. Surprised by the door closing in front of her face, Yukari fell on her hips. It hurts. Jeez, he was a lot more upset than before. Are you okay? It was just a simple fall. I'm fine. Damn, he like literally pushed her out of the way. I think it would be best just to leave him alone for now. If we talk to him now, he could hit the door on us again. That's for certain. Based on his reaction, I don't think I'll ever look forward, look forward to calling on him again. He'll be safe in his private room, so it might be a good choice to leave him alone for the time being. Would you like to go to the diner soon? It could be that the others are gathering at this moment. Well, if it's too late, we may worry everyone. I'll see you in a minute. I need to run an errand first, so go on ahead. Okay. An errand? I shouldn't ask too much. <laughs> Gonna go get the sword in front of the... 
in front of the gymnasium, huh, girly? Is that what it is? I'm just gonna run a quick little errand. I don't, I don't, I don't trust her. I don't trust her one bit. And Aaron, I shouldn't ask too much and be more considerate to the girls, right? Yeah, it's just a girly thing. Yeah, don't ask me. You're sexist if you ask me. <laughs> sure, let's save. I fell in love with an emo boy. Oh yeah, gosh, it's kind of hard to see um, whose room each one is. Oh, there it is. It says it when you click on it. And for now, it'd be best to let- Now I want to annoy him some more! Come on! Come on, Shozo! Come out! I know you want to! I know you want to, buddy! Okay, was it down here? What's this? Oh! Of course! <laughs> it's back! <laughs> oh god, was that- That wasn't Korean, though. That was Japanese, I think, right? Yeah, I think that's Japanese. Ah, <laughs> uh, I missed you, random- <laughs> Not random, but original language popping up. I'm like, ah, oh, yes, of course. <laughs> of course that's what it is. When I arrived at the diner, there were already quite a few people inside. Hey, you just arrived. You're late. <clears throat> hey, I'm surprised you can uh, see me from all the way down there, Toshiro. I got him! I fucking got him! Sorry. You don't have to be sorry because we didn't set a timer. Hey, what happened to Yukari and Shozo? No, it's Korean? Really? Oh, my bad. My bad. I couldn't tell. <laughs> okay, my bad. I thought like, I don't know, I thought they looked a little bit different normally. More rounded or something. Yukari said she had some business to do, so I came... So I came first. What? So Yukari is alone now and you just let her go? Uh, maybe. I don't know. She was doing girly things. I thought it was okay. Do you realize what would happen if you leave a girl on her own in this situation? Have you forgotten why everyone was acting together in the first place? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. If I knew this would happen, I would have followed. I have to go and... Oh, wow. Uh, sorry. Was I a little late? Yukari! Sorry. Sorry, Misako. She seems like a worry ward, honestly. I mean, I kind of get it, but like, well, I get it because that would literally be me. <laughs> that would literally be me. Like, two seconds if somebody was gone, I'd be like, they're dead, guys. Who did it? Tell me right now. Somebody confess right at this moment. <laughs> but usually, I feel like people aren't quite that paranoid at the very beginning of the game. So I kind of wonder, um, kind of wonder, um, hmm. I thought it'll be kind of a big character trait for her in this game. Sorry, Misako. I told Kazuki to go first because I was in a hurry to go to the bathroom. Uh, okay. I hope you didn't blame Kazuki too much. Why don't you just say bathroom instead of I have to go to an errand, an unknown, undisclosed errand. It's like a sound, you made it sound way creepier than it actually was. But I still don't really trust it, girly. Well, nothing really did happen, right? Of course, if something did, he would have been half dead by now. All right, Yukari is safe. Kazuki, I probably over overreacted, didn't I? I was a little too worried. I apologize. Oh, no, you didn't because it was my fault. By the way, what about Shozo? We met him, but he didn't want to come. I think he's very upset right now. He has a quick temper. Right now, he's safe in his private room, so it's okay to leave him there. I wonder if he's more stressed out about the killing game than he's, like, litting on, maybe. Understood. Sit down first. As we sat down, Misaka, who looked around once, frowned. What happened to Yosaku and Saina and Kana? I can't see them. Mai saw the three of them walking together earlier. It was like a water molecule forming together. And so they're probably fine. What the hell does that mean? Was their investigation delayed or are they doing something else? Uh, just something bad. Oh my god, did something bad happen already? Don't say such, don't say such sinister things. Everyone calm down. I'm sure those three will be fine. How can you be so sure of that in a place that's unknown to everybody? That is. Talking like this doesn't bring us to a solution. For now, let's begin sharing what we've investigated. However, we must all be here in order to let everyone hear the findings. Wouldn't it be better to wait? Who is missing again? I'll explain to those three later. And of course, Shozo. 
Um, she hates him, dude. Oh my god, every time just that shadow like face. Every time he gets brought up, what's wrong, Miss Torre? Nah, it's nothing. Fuck that guy. We're sharing the investigation, Rod. Let's get started. Hum. Fine. So who wants to begin? Then I shall begin as the starting point. I've been trying to look if there's a hole to get out. The windows, the doors, the entrance, all exits leading outside are blocked. Miss Yuzora, the ninja, confirmed it, so I considered this to be true. Yuzora? Ah, come to think of it, the redhead, she's not here, I'll have to look for her. Oh, uh, um, I'm here. Oh god, where'd you come from? Huh? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> this is gonna be like a running gag for her. Um, so it was a Karu Yuzura, right? Yeah, that's right. I'm a Karu Yuzura, an, er an erotic ninja. <laughs> I still don't know what that means, but sure, whatever. I'll be comfortable calling you a Karu. You can also call me by Masako. Okay, okay, Masako. We kind of gave her a more high-pitched voice earlier. Akeru, I'll ask you to confirm it. Is it true that the exits are all blocked? It is true. I went in and looked at all the small ga gaps. There was no secret passage that the best ninja, Akeru Yozura, could find. Right, Makiko-chan? Uh, uh, Makiko-chan? Um, I feel... Oh my god. <laughs> I hear a voice. Is it coming from my head? Oh my god, the voices, they're back. Was it you, Pet Chan? Was it you? Uh, <laughs> Is she actually, like, sad that uh, people don't notice her sometimes? No way. Is normal communication impossible for her? As the Karu, as that, uh, as that intimate void over there mentioned, is there no exit to get out? Oh, Akeru, that's right. We look together, but there's no exit to escape. Isn't that right, Pet Chan? I don't want to. <laughs> what, what voice did I get? I don't want to admit it, but it's the truth. <laughs> I thought they were all just pausing, like, wait, what? Uh, there's no way out. At those words, everyone's expressions began to darken. And perhaps I had the same face as them. Darkened face of despair! Everyone, wake up! I like Tori. She seems like a, a girl boss, too. She seems like another, like, good leader type. It'd be kind of interesting if, um, Misako, that's her name, right? The other leader girl? If she killed first or something along those lines, you know what I mean? Just because, like, she seems to be such, like, a leader and so dependable right now, but, like, uh, it'd be kind of interesting. Since she also seems so paranoid if she was, like, the one to, like, kind of give in to, like, her paranoia first. That'd be kind of interesting. I could see her taking over, like Tori taking over, if that's the case. My consciousness becomes clear at the sudden scream. It was Tori's words that brought everyone back, back who were in a dazed state. No one's dead, so why are you guys getting depressed? What are y'all, what is, what are you guys getting depressed about? Get your act together already, pathetic people. And what about you? Did you get some good information or what? Information is always good. At least information that we won't starve to death. We won't starve? On what basis? I've been in the kitchen over there before. There was enough food for left for everyone to eat, but I do declare. There there is no bell peppers. Oh, I've already played laps. Uh dangin uh dangin Oma. There should be a uh, playlist on my channel. As Miss Aka Aka Tsubas Aka Tsubaki said, besides that guy gave us a guarantee. Rest assured, the ingredients will be refilled as long as they are used. That guy, which one? Monokuma, I was looking around and it popped up from somewhere. <laughs> popped up out of freaking nowhere, nearly gave me a heart attack. Oh my god, I did that to me too. Aren't we certain that- are we- aren't we certain that those ingredients could be poisoned? That's not the case. As soon as we came to the diner, I went to check the kitchen at once. I'm sure I checked everything. There's no poison in the food. Yay, Farmer Chan! Is that true then? I guess it is. She is such a tsundere. <laughs> Bless you. Um, what is this? There is some noticeable change in, of attitude in the air. <laughs> what? He's a farmer. Of course he knows about ingredients. And I can't tell at first glance. Oh, just shut up. Shut your noisy mouth. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Since we're exchanging roles, did Mrs. Sami find something out? Nothing. I've confirmed that there's a bathhouse with dressing rooms and a laundry room. We can stay clean while we're here. That's a good thing. 
you. Isn't your mindset a little too positive? In times like this, it's important to think positively. Has he... Has anybody told him that Monokuma is not an alien? Because I feel like he still thinks that. <laughs> I feel like he's still just super pumped to be in, like, alien land. It's like, oh, yes, my first time being on a spaceship. Oh, this is so neat. He's going to be like the Satsuki of this game. He doesn't realize he's in a killing game still. That's true, but... Shall I go next? Maya and I looked around the infirmary room for a bit, and there are quite a lot of medications at hand. To painkillers, to painkillers, digestive pills, fatigue recovery, cold medicine, and so on. Should I give her like an Aroha voice, actually? I kind of want to. To painkillers, digestive pills, fatigue recovery, cold medicine, and so on. I kind of like that better. There are as many types as the elements in the periodic table, so any kind of treatment is okay. Maya has some medical knowledge, so if you get sick, please come to Maya. There were enough tools for first aid, such as bandages and ointments. Being a part of it, I checked it while treating Tato earlier with the girl that dragged me around. Okay, so you helped tra treat him too. That's cool. Huh, do I hear some complaining, a little runt? One day, one day when I can reach up there, I will beat you up. Oh, what? Can't hear you from all the way down there. Oh, when I was walking around, I noticed that the shutters were down the stairs for the upper floor. I think they're preventing us from going to the next floor. Shutters. All right, did Kazuki find out anything? We were talking about the laundry room earlier. I found the private rooms in the hallways next to it. Our keys are the ele electronic handbooks. To think there is such a function. If, if you accidentally lose it, it'll be a huge deal. If you sleep in a place other than our private room, it's a violation of the rules. It would be the end. Uh, you sure have a lot of negativity there. It would be kind of interesting if somebody like lost their handbook and had to like stay up all night. Or if somebody, like, stole my handbook, would that be considered murder if you stole somebody's handbook to where they had to, like, sleep outside and then, like, the Monokuma guns kill them? That'd be interesting. You sure a lot of negativity there. Regarding that issue, the school rules only say private room, not one's own room. In other words, if someone gets in trouble like that, you can share someone's private room together. Okay. I also checked inside the rooms, and there seems to be enough for two people to live together. I guess that kind of breaks my rule. There is a way. Hey, guys, if anything happens, come to my room. I'll let you in. Oh, you're so nice. What would you do if that happens to a girl? A pervert. Uh, that's... Oh, is he blushing? Oh, dear. I'm disappointed in you, Mr. Takahara. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Toshiro blushes in embarrassment, and the other guys burst into laughter as they see it. The mood improved a lot, thanks to the sound of laughter. I don't know. I don't think now's the good time to laugh at such trivialties. Stop bonding, you guys! No matter how much we worry about the starvation or dying, it doesn't change the fact that we're trapped, does it? Hey, now, what are you saying? Being able to live normally is a good thing. So, then, does Mr. Shinigami, Shimigami, intend to live here for the rest of your life? I, I can't. There's a lot of words to be out there. All my corn chans, they're dying out there. My children, my baby girls. And then I'll ask you again, Mr. Shimigami. Even if you have to kill someone here, can I accept that as a sign that you're ready to get out? Ah! Look at that. You can't answer back, can you? Doesn't that mean that if something happens, there's enough chance for a murder to happen? Can't you stop now? What exactly is he doing wrong? What about you, Mr. Hasami? What? This is a question not only for Mrs. Hasami, but for everyone here. What if your precious thing is outside that you have to kill someone to go out for that precious thing? God, he's already like foreshadowing already at the uh, motive we're probably gonna get, you know? <laughs> the videotape showing our precious people and stuff. I can't get over his mullet though, man. I just keep staring at it. You may deny it now, but no one knows how you will change if you are given some motivation. It's kind of like he knows more. <laughs> have you wa have you played Danganronpa before, bro? How will you change if you are given motivation? It's not a situation where you can just laugh it out, is it? You can't just live, laugh, love here, can you? Everyone shut their lips at Ryo's words. Humans are capable of being cruel to anything that is important to them. If anything happens, as he said, how will it change? No one can predict that. Then what about you, Ryo? 
Oh, what do you mean? She doesn't put up with anybody's shit, dude. She hates him, too. You're asking if we're willing to go out like that? If that's the case, it wouldn't be such a bad idea to kill ourselves. Oh, God. Oh, God. It wouldn't be such a bad idea to get comfortable together right here and now. Is that it? Um. Now, which one is it? Answer. If I had to decide which one... I would stick to the position of not kill. Why are you all looking? Uh, look at me being all cute now. <laughs> you can't be mad at me, Tori. Come on, look at how cute I am with my little mullet. Not kill. He said we could get out if we kill, but it wasn't confirmed whether that's true or not. If I try to go on the other side, maybe I'll die first at the hands of Miss Akatsubaki. It's the same because I value my life the most. You're naughty. Oh, please. I judge the gains and losses rather quickly. Man, that was a good call giving you the Mikado voice. <laughs> Rio laughs away casually. However, the faces of the others who heard the conversations weren't so good. If we had a motive, we might kill. That one question was making everyone suspicious of each other by looking at their faces. Man, Rio's a Danganronpa stan, dude. <laughs> He's seen all 54 seasons. Or 53 seasons. Uh, the space filled with suspicion that was broken suddenly began once more. <laughs> like, talked to him later. He's like, you know, actually, Danganronpa 27 was my favorite, you know? The Return of Despair. I just thought it was cool they had the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus in there. Very, just breaks down. It just breaks down different things, you know what I mean? The space filled with suspicion that was broken suddenly began once more. Uh, I'm sorry we're late. Uh, wow, the vibes are kind of off in here, guys. <laughs> What was that voice? Did y'all hear? Did you? Did y'all hear that? Why? Why does my man sound like Stitch? <laughs> Mama. <laughs> what was that noise? Mama. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! That was a that was a jump scare. What? Man, why did they? What voice did I give him? <laughs> Mom, I don't even know what he said. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, man. What was the voice I gave him earlier? You know, I didn't think... I didn't think there was anything like that. What a bunch of marvelous things. That's right. It was nice to see so many interesting things. You guys. <laughs> Alice, that was your voice. I love it. It's so fun. It just <laughs> it just threw me off guard. It was so funny. <laughs> oh man, I like it, Zeph. It's great. It's great. It just threw me off guard. It's honestly too because we uh, it made me laugh so hard as well because when we do um, when we play this other game with some of my mods, one of them does like a Stitch voice for one of the characters, and so it just like. Uh, <laughs> It reminded me of that. <laughs> it just cracked me up. Oh, are y'all already gathered? We were a little late. We found something interesting. We've been messing around with it. Oh, the best boy. It was mainly Fujita that touched everything. And then he said, that's it! Hum, even Kana was excited and touched this and that. But why is everyone like this? Your expression... It's not a big deal. What's the interesting thing? Oh, right. The gym where we all met earlier. We found a small bro broadcast room in the back. Oh, God. We are going to get our tapes, aren't we? Broadcast room. His voice is ultra slay. Oh, God. You guys are cursing. Cursing him now. The ultra slay voice. Once I checked it, it seemed like the stage for the gym's broadcast room. I don't really know much, but there was a lot of equipment that looked pretty expensive. It was almost like a setup. All the equipment is the, the latest in high performance. If we have that technology, it's possible to do any kind of broadcast without difficulty. With a few tweakings, it would be possible to broadcast even in a radio format to the diner. If you want to request a song, please let me know. No way, it would be bad to play in a regular broadcast program, right? Is song, is ensemble used for like compositions? I was kind of wondering that because that was like, um, whatchamacallit, um, 
You don't worry, Zef, you slayed. You slayed. You made him too slay. Now I'm worried that he's gonna slay. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I was like, is an ensemble where is that like a thing that you do for like music too? I feel like, yeah, there's like musical ensembles. Kinda makes me wonder if like the chapter title's hinting at like him being a culprit or a victim or something along those lines, but I don't know, I guess we'll see. Um, what's wrong? Uh, oh, he's so like a little mouse! I love him so much, dude. I love his little eyebrows. Oh, I used to have a kitten that had like little eyebrows like that. It was so cute. She had these little white marks right above her eyes. It was so freaking adorable. They looked just like that though, like little pills shaped almost. Um, what's wrong, everybody? All of them are about to faint. Say peace when you're depressed. Don't you know the saying that laughter brings happiness? These pieces of frozen dead brain. Don't you get the picture? We're trapped. Can't you realize that? Stop being positive. Um, come now. No matter how, how hard it may be. No matter how hard what? Is there anyone here who can say I'll never kill a person? There was no answer. No one spoke. Is there anyone here who is not willing to slay? <laughs> All of us knew that at any moment Weavy could tell us to slay and we would have no choice. The question asked by Kumori a while ago and the question asked by Chinami now combined to make no one sure of their mind. Except for one person. I knew it! Yeah! I knew it! I knew you wouldn't slay! I knew you wouldn't slay! Ah, oh, best boy! King of my heart! There it is! Right here! Huh? I'm talking about myself! Rest assured, you that I, Kos Yosaku Fujita, will never kill anyone! And how the hell can you prove that? I can't, because I never thought about killing somebody! And so then what? Just because you don't like the- just, so, just because you don't know the meaning, you don't know when Weeby will tell you to slay. She's already told you to slay. Well, I may be a little slow to know the complexity of the urgency for this situation. I can't understand this atmosphere. However, I always wanted to live a positive life. If you live a life with positivity, you can imagine to overcome any kind of situation that you don't know. Oh, he's so freaking cute. I love him so much. He's so dead. He's so dead. Look at him. I love him. Oh, he is just the little guy. I'm taking away your little guy privileges, Toshiro, because Yosaku is the little guy. So let's all live, laugh, and love together. A uh, peace. A uh, peace. You. Oh, God. I can't stand this live, laugh, love bullshit. <laughs> I like his voice. Is there a way to change the audio, though, I wonder, to make it to where, like, the music's a little bit quieter and the voices are a little louder? I might check that later. Or, Zeph, I guess you can let me know later. Nailed it. In an effort to cheer everyone up, what's the type of job that likes curry? Uh-oh, Jesus Christ, no more of these jokes. The correct answer is Eraser. Oh my god, yet another joke lost in translation. What are you talking about? Just... Uh Okay. You have the slay, Pat. You can slay her. Slay her. I don't care if she has the Kazuna voice. Slay. She had it coming. She had it coming. She only had herself to blame. And that's how I feel. Yosaku, you got the slay pass. Just die, you ugly fat... W I can't even repeat these words. I can't even repeat the disrespect that she is putting out into the universe. Hell no. <laughs> he is a skinny legend and shut up. Oh no! He ran away! <laughs> whoa, whoa! Anti-violence! Anti-violence! You got the sleigh pass. It's okay, buddy. A sloppy gag thrown into a serious atmosphere. The pressure that had weighed us on us until now, that absurd loneliness, disappeared like smoke. And that soon led to everyone's laughter. Ah! Oh my god, he is a fat, ugly weirdo! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! You can slay all of them, Yosaku! Do it! And then Tanabe's in the background like, See, I told you, Weeby could tell you to slay at any time, and then you're cursed. <laughs> then you're cursed! Hey, stop that. This guy really wants to die. I didn't really get it, ha ha ha! Uh, Mai was slightly moved. Ha <laughs> Huh. Uh, hey, Misako. You can laugh if you want to. That would be rude. 
<laughs> I can't. Uh, I refuse to laugh. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Kind of reminds me of, uh, if you guys watch, like, Agretico, like, Finico's laugh. It's always so funny to me. It's like, ah. <laughs> I feel like she would laugh like that. Everyone smiles brightly. Looking at them, I was able to put my mind at ease. I'm, I'm ready to kill all of them for you, Yukari. <laughs> Tell me to slay. I'll do it. I'll fucking do it, bestie. That's how this game will end in two chapters. I'll just murder all of them besides you, king. Okay. Uh, hey, Yukari. What is it? Oh, not Yukari. God dang it. No, no, not you, Yukari. The other guy. The, the chubby guy that I love. I think his name starts with a Y, too. What is it? I think you're right. I believe we're... I think we're good guys. I'm glad Kazuki thinks so. It would have been nice to have Shozo here. Uh, that could happen soon. <laughs> yeah, he loves us. I have a friend who wants to bring back laughter despite being in this situation. I have friends who accept it. So I can make sure that we'll be fine. Yosaku, that's what it was. No, no, everything needs to be in moderation. It's hard. I'm so bad at remembering names. It's probably going to take me a couple episodes. We shouldn't do this too much. Isn't everyone tired? Hearing that, I do feel a little dizzy. You were like that because you were hurt, you idiot. No, Mr. Shimagami isn't the only one. I'm pretty tired as well. Ah, oh, all the serving I've been doing, it's making me tired. That's because there's a lot of work today. Maya's sleepy too. I'm very tired too. I want to take a shower and sleep. Oh, um, Mr. Watanabe, the private rooms? Uh, which way did you say they were? Oh, go up from here and then go to the hallway on the right side. I kind of feel like she likes me. Is that, am I just like Delulu? I'm probably Delulu, whatever. <laughs> but why did she, because she did want to travel with me earlier and she seemed kind of upset when, um, what the other girl wanted to like travel with me instead. I don't know. I guess we'll see. We'll see. But you know, just a, just a thought. I don't think I mentioned that before, but I thought maybe she had a crush on me, but I'm probably, I'm probably just being delusional as I usually am. Actually, I forgot to mention at that, that at nighttime, the water's cut off. Ah, why did you tell me now? Uh, I'll leave first. Uh, oh, she just disappeared. <laughs> Whoa, she's gone. That was the ultimate ninja. How outstanding. <laughs> we make fun of fat people. We're clearly wonderful people. <laughs> Basically, the Watanabe, he's like, Oh, man, people who are fat folk, but they, uh, my people around me, yeah, uh, awesome. <laughs> They're obviously wonderful people. Slay. It looks like some kind of ninjutsu from a movie or something similar. I shall go back as well. I need to loosen my hair. Is it true? Well, if we sleep all right, we might be able to survive tomorrow. I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, peace. Oh, I love him. He's so cute. Look at him. Live, laugh, love. Live, laugh, love every day of your life, Yosamu. Everyone, they all went to the private rooms with light steps different from before. I'll go back to mine as well. I need to go and rest too, Kazuki. See you tomorrow. Yeah, good night. Oh, our rooms are right next to each other too. Wasn't the same thing with Sayaka as well? Uh, yikes. Freaking yikes, Yukari. Freaking yikes. <laughs> she is such a red herring, man. This is a school announcement! It is now 10 p.m. It's nighttime, so the diner will be locked and off limits. Well, then, have a good dreams and a good night. Ba, 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 ba. As soon as I get back to my room, wash up and lie down in bed, a broadcast announcing nighttime is being played. Communal living, right. To be honest, I still can't believe it. We are in prison. Doesn't that sound like a B type of audience movie? Man, it sounds like a lame movie. Nevertheless, it was undeniable that our situation, which felt like a bad joke or a nightmare, is now our reality. Let's sleep for now. Once I get a good night's sleep and recover from fatigue, I'll be able to move again tomorrow. This was my first crazy day at Hope's Peak Academy. Coming to an end. It'd be the best storyline if everything was a dream. And once I opened my eyes again, but reality doesn't change that easily. I shook my head and erased the possibility of what if that came to mind. You can have some weird Junko despair dreams, Kazuki. And so consciousness was sent into an empty void. Would you like to save? Sure. I guess uh, the mods can let me know how long I should play for. It's been almost three hours. 
I figure I might try to split this up like I did with Danganronpa another, with like, uh, well, I guess it just depends on how long the deadly life and the daily life are, but yeah, I feel like generally with most Danganronpa games, if they're long enough, it's nice to do daily life, deadly life, trial for like the way to split it up, but we'll see. I guess y'all can let me know if I should quit soon or not. Chick, chick, chick. Is there any knocking? Oh, I didn't have any creepy despair dreams, no! Come on, just have a little bit of despair dreams. Hello, everyone! Y you don't even want to dream about me, this is so sad! 7 a.m., get up! It's morning already, I can't tell if it's morning or night because I can't see the outside. Why am I so sleepy, yawn? Yeah, the red font was kind of weird. My head is dazed and I can't get out of my drowsiness. Perhaps it's because I haven't fully recovered from yesterday's fatigue? Or did I have a nightmare last night? We didn't show the nightmare? Or only showed part of it? Maybe? Maybe, I don't know. It'll take at least three to four days to change to deadly. Oh, okay, wow. That's actually a lot. <laughs> Dang! I guess... Huh. Interesting. Day life will take three to four days to change to deadly. Dang, that is actually really long. I could probably play another day then, maybe. Interesting. At least, like two days? I'm gonna have like one day in deadly life or something like that. That might be a good way to split it up. I can't totally tell. So we did one day in the prologue so far. I'm like trying to think of how long the next stream would be if we did the daily and deadly life together, you know what I mean? I guess we'll think about it. I guess I'd always do what I did for SDRE2 where I did like daily life to the death and then I do like the deadly life and then the trial together. Actually, I kind of liked that actually since uh, it was kind of nice to do the investigation like right before the trial rather than be like a week in between. Because I always forgot about the evidence the week between. The week between, so. Yeah, I might be cool with uh, calling it quits pretty soon then. And then I'll try to maybe do like the victim and deadly life together. Oh, but they might get worried. If I fall asleep again, I might not wake up for a long time. And most importantly, I don't want to worry everyone. Maybe taking a shower will clear my head. Da -na -na. Do we not have a time to meet up at the breakfast table? We usually do do that. But I guess not this time. I don't think we mentioned that. After a splash of water, I feel like my dazed consciousness is clearing up. I was dazed in the middle of the shower, so I kept getting wet for about half an hour. Shall I head to the diner now? I was slowly getting hungry and wanting to check the others, so... I decided to head to the diner. And maybe one more cutscene. <laughs> or should I? <laughs> Man, go, did you sleep well? Well, I don't really know. Well, I don't really know how I feel today. Is that so? I don't know if it's because I can't do my usual workout in the morning, but I feel a little cramped. I could run in the hallways, but. Uh, parkour! Parkour! But. It might like a little, like, I might look like a little boy running around. It's embarrassing to me. Ah, ha, ha. A little four foot. Man, now you're going to make me feel bad when I'm running, when I'm jogging outside and be like, oh, look at the little girl. Isn't she so cute? Like, I'm 28. Leave me alone. <laughs> so you're self-conscious of those things. Oh, he's so cute. Anybody else around here? Very interesting being back in Hope Speak Academy. Like, uh, yes. This is where I learned to hate Mitch. <laughs> I can walk around. Again. Whoa. Whoa. Neat. Okay, we'll do one more cutscene. <laughs> hey there, Kazuki. Come here for a minute. Uh, uh, uh. Don't you dare, don't you dare even imply, even imply for a second that he might die. Don't you fucking do it to me, game. He's just taking a nap. He's just taking a nap. I know it's true. He's just listening. He's listening to some Linkin Park. He's trying to learn how to, how to like, you know, bond with Shoko. Like it's, that's all he's doing. As soon as I enter the diner, Kana's hand leads me to a corner. And there were Yusaku and Saina with a worried face while Yusaku is wearing large headphones and sitting with a serious face. Oh wait, is he- he's sleeping? <laughs> no, he's not, Safi! I rebuke that! He's not dead! 
Is it okay to sleep though? Because can't you only sleep in the private rooms? So then what's going on? I think he's just vibing. That's what you see, Yoi. Yoshi, Yoshi hasn't moved an inch. Aw, oh, Yoshi. I was screaming next to him, but there was no response. Is he dead? No, no matter how you look at it, he's still alive. Just check if he's breathing, dumbass. A dead person can't sit straight like that. Besides, he's doing some small mutterings. He's <laughs> just like singing along. <laughs> then why doesn't he move? <laughs> then why doesn't he move when I touch him? Is it okay to is it okay to hit someone? Hit someone when they're when fixing is it okay to hit someone like when fixing a broken TV? That's a great idea. Wanna give them a smack in the back of the head? Hey, do you really have to use violence? Are you mad? Eh? Oh shit. Oh no, who is it? There was a stranger standing next to me. Huh, who who the hell is that? When we're all together yesterday, I don't think I've ever seen this person. What? What the fuck? Who the hell are you? Oh, wait. Oh, she did her hair different. Oh, my God. I was like, who is that? Is that Kyoko and Maki's child? I was like, who is this? I think it's the, I think it's Chinami. She just did her hair different, right? What? It's rude to stare at people's faces. Uh, who are you? Huh? I think this wasn't the first, I think this wasn't the first time we met, but who, who are you? Ah, uh, the stranger took a long sigh. <laughs> ah, my head was being squeezed. You don't, you, don't you already know me? Chinami, Chinami has saw me. Well, you did the same thing to me yesterday, girl, so come on. Don't get all defensive now. Ah, oh, that's right, it was Chinami. I don't know who else. Ah, oh my, you're Chinami? But you have cat ears. Yeah, I got a problem. It, no, it, it's just... Janami's hairstyle was completely different from yesterday. <laughs> Thank God Monokuma had a ton of, like, bleach and stuff for me to change my hair every single day. I wouldn't be caught dead with the same hairstyle two days in a row. Yikes. Couldn't be me. How can a person look so different with their hair changed? Oh, God. She is a slayer, though. It's in her blood, man. I feel like she could, uh... <laughs> I feel like she could be. She's... She does a new look every single day. Now tell me that's not a sleigh. That is such a sleigh that it makes me worry. It, it makes me truly worry for her, for her well-being. Your hair, what happened? Oh, this, it's, oh, this. It's boring to have the same hairstyle, so I change it every single day. Why, do you want me to change it? No, n nothing specific, I really, right then. Hey, Miss Asami, maybe Asami is a cat human or something like that? Oh, oh my god, you're so cute! Where in the world can a human like that exist? Are you a cat girl? You can be honest. Listen, I've been a hair designer for a long time. This kind of hairstyle change can be achieved by using extensions in various beauty tools. It's a cinch. That was all? Why are you disappointed? But I wanted you to be a cat girl. Oh. Janami sitting on the table chair. Raised her chopsticks as if about to eat and went back to talk at Kana. Anyways, why don't you try hitting this one? Like I said, Kana. I don't really know if this is a good idea, but okay. Kana shall hit with all her might. Like I said, you shouldn't... Like I said, you shouldn't hit them. <laughs> wow, then I'll let Kazuki do the honors? No, you're not supposed to hit him. <laughs> Listening to myself, I sound a bit weird. I better get a hold of my temper first, uh, shouldn't I? Do, 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 do. Hey, Yusaku! Uh, y Yusaku, best boy? You doing okay? There was no reaction to the extent of touching him. Hey, Yusaku! It's like shake him or something, right? There was no response. Even when I grabbed his shoulders and shook him. What in the world happened to this guy? While thinking, my eyes sto stopped at the headphones that were placed over Yusaku's head. Could it be because of this? Excuse me. Carefully removing one side of the headphones and placing them against his exposed ears, I screamed as hard as I could. Yosaku! Wake up! Whoa! <laughs> what was he listening to? In the chat, what was he listening to? Oh, he fell. Very loudly, too. Uh, Mr. Fujita! What's going on all of a sudden? An earthquake? Did an earthquake happen? No, we were worried because there was no response from you. Kana asked me to wake you up. I never said anything like that. 
Yosi wasn't responding, so just before I was going to hit you on the back of the head, Kazuki stopped me from trying to wake you up, so I wanted to be the one. Don't doubt me! Who exactly are we not to doubt here? What a surprise. Even so, it's still a little screaming. It's Isn't it a little screaming into my... Isn't screaming into my ears too much? Aluna. <laughs> oh, yes. Definitely. He definitely stands, Luna. <laughs> uh, sorry. It's not that I don't understand it, but... Uh -huh. Who are you? What? Sigh. It's Shinami Asami. I'm eating. As details later. Oh, it's the fat, fat phobic chick. Shinami board is bored with the same hair every day, so she changes her hairstyle once a day. Um, doesn't she look more like a hair designer? Black long hair and Neko Mimi. Uh, not bad, right? Uh, she's pretty cute now. Just die already, pig. Stop it! Stop your fat phobia. But still, Yossi, what happened to you? I shook. I screamed so much, but you didn't even budge. Well, maybe, but I was trying to stan Luna. Maybe by the time you guys tried to contact me, I was already in concentration mode. Concentration mode? I like how like half the chat was like Beethoven, and the other chat was the other half of the chat was like K-pop. <laughs> There's two types of people in my audience. Why didn't I? Why didn't I mention it yesterday? I have a bit of a dull side, so when I'm engrossed in one thing, I can't even think of another one. Oh no! Oh no! He just seems like such a perfect target for murder, dude. He could literally, uh, he'd be so defenseless if he's just like listening to Luna on his little, on his little Walkman. Somebody could just come up behind him and like stab him and he would just die immediately, dude. Uh, a Beethoven uh, K-pop remix. That's what he's listening to. We can have, we can have both. So I can't notice anything else at all. If you left me alone, I might have been doing that for hours. Oh, he's totally gonna get murdered. Oh, wow, it's the crystal of insensitivity. That, you just gotta make it past chapter two, buddy. Then I can be in Delulu forever. I can be in Delulu forever if you just make it to chapter two. It doesn't matter if you were supposed to die in chapter four or three or whatever. Just get there, just get there for me. Just do it for me, King, do it for me, skinny legend. Well, it's the crystal insensitivity, that concentration mode or something. I feel like she's had a bunch of references and stuff. I don't know what they are, though. It's not bad, though. After all, good ideas come to mind easily. It helps greatly when composing. Oh, that's amazing! So then, among the songs you've composed so far, are there any that have been evaluated as particularly outstanding? Absolutely! My songs were made after entering this concentration mode. They're my masterpieces! Blah! Among those... There were quite a few famous ones. For example, a main debut song for a national, oh, a national idol group. Oh my God. He really does stand Luna. Oh my God. He really wrote their debut song. Yosaku's songs are famous among us musicians. Like a song they want to try more than once, right? Uh, hey, it's embarrassing if you compliment me like that. Uh, oh, they could be besties. I forgot. They both like music. Aw. When you're shy, smile and pretend. Uh, peace! So what are you concentrating on? Now, now, what did I tell you yesterday? We found a small broadcast room in the gym. It's a waste to leave good equipment alone, so I'm going to plan a broadcasting program. It won't be grandiose, it's simply to revitalize this life of incarceration. Broadcast? Like a radio broadcast? It might be pretty interesting. To do that, we need to we need cooperation of two people first. Sina, Kana, do you want to help with the broadcast? Um, we can. How can we help you? I'll listen first, then decide. It's not complicated. Compli complicated. <laughs> complicated. I want Sina to appear on a TV show in the morning and play the violin. Kana will be at dinner time. This sounds like the perfect. I don't know, man. Somebody's about to get killed in that broadcasting room, man. I just, I feel like, oh god, oh man, dude. Oh, pretty sure she's talking about Sayaka. Oh, interesting, that's cool. That's a cool little reference, if that's the case. 
Thank you. Okay, that's great. You unlock concentration mode once you stand Luna. <laughs> it's, a, it's a perk. Oh my god. Slay. That's so true. Oh god, I gotta stand them harder. <laughs> One of my good friends is actually like a really big uh, Luna stand. Oh gosh. What was I saying though? Oh, this broadcasting thing does seem kind of sus. I can definitely see somebody dying like on the broadcast and it's like, they died live. We got to figure out how it happened. You know what I mean? Con will be at dinner time. Uh, so, can you show your talents in a voice actor on TV around 7 o'clock? For example, what would you want to say in an animated character voice? Oh, that might be a little fun, right? What do you want to do, Sina? Uh, of course, I'll help you. Morning practice every day is a great thing if I can help everyone with my performance. It's, I'm a little embarrassed, but still. Okay, with this, the cast of performers is complete. Now, all that's left is adjusting the equipment. Well then, Kazuki, later at dinner time, 7 p.m. Look forward to the broadcast at the gym. Bye bye! <laughs> He's so cute. I love you, best boy. Fujina runs towards the gym at a, at a speed that doesn't suit his physique. He looks pretty excited. Looks like Yossi is having fun. We will as well. It's nice to see people lively. <laughs> I agree. So then I shall go and let the others know about the broadcast. Sina, by yourself? Yes, it's a problem that there's no one who will listen to me when I do my best in the show. What do you think, Kana? Um, well, since I'm going to the show, I do agree. It's better to have lots of people listening. Maybe I should go together, though. Then we shall get going. Mr. Watanabe, please come and listen to it in the evening. Of course I will. Shall we go? Time to produce. And <laughs> Bye! Okay, it's just me and, uh, Chinami now. I can't stay still either. Let, let's let them know about the broadcast in the evening. Would you like an explanation about free time events? <laughs> I don't need because I played too much Rump. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah, that's about, that sounds about right. <laughs> okay, that was cute. I guess we can do free time events next time. I guess I might, huh, I wonder... Maybe in my free time, should I, would you guys want me, would y'all want to watch me exploring the school to try to find mono coins, or would y'all rather me do that, like, off, uh, off stream, because I could do that maybe beforehand so I can get some gifts, because I think I only have, like, one coin, I have, like, one coin right now, I think, um, yeah, I don't, got nothing there, um, is there, where do I see if, where I have coins, would it be in the handbook, I don't think so, right? I guess we'll see. Eh. Belonging, skills. Probably not skills, right? My, my skill as having a mono coin. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, well. <laughs> I want you to do anything. It's always fun. Oh, thanks, guys. Y'all are so sweet. Okay, we can do that at the beginning of the next stream then. <laughs> Just check the description. Um. Do -do 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 -do. Um, um, the coins are below the menu. Be oh, 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 <laughs> got it. <laughs> okay. Oh, head empty. Okay, cool. Uh, well, thanks guys for stopping by. It's been super fun. Definitely enjoying this game so far. It is a shame that it got canceled, but I'm excited to still try and play it anyway, since, yeah, this is one of the games that I was like, oh man, I just remember it was like one of the first games, like the first fan games I ever saw, and it got me so hyped, like, for the idea of fan games in general, because I just remember, like, what little I'd seen of it looked so freaking good. Oh, is there a tutorial on how to download this? I'm gonna link it in the description. It's super easy. You just download it and, like, uh, you know, use WinRAR or something to, like, uh, you know, uh, unwrap it. It's really, really easy though. I will put a link in the description if you guys want to download and play this yourselves. And yeah, we'll continue next week. Well, first we'll do Undertale on Saturday, which was super fun. I had a great time with that. And then we'll continue this more on Sunday. Thanks guys for coming. I appreciate you and I will uh, see you next week. Bye!